Namaste everyone. Welcome to the Char Work Podcast. First of all, I apologize for the five minute delay. It was uh, absolutely my fault at my end. As as I was starting the podcast, I realized my router crashed and I had to restart my internet router. So I uh, sometimes uh, <coughs> forget to restart my router. I have a routine of restarting my router by default 15 to 20 minutes before the podcast. But uh, unfortunately it was just one of those things that today i forgot to do it but uh, last time when tushar and i had done the congress manifesto we had assured everybody that we will be doing a detailed uh, dive into the bjp manifesto so uh, as always to discuss i have tushar gupta with me tushar welcome thank you very much uh, for once again going through the torture of reading another document online <laughs> no the good thing was this one wasn't much of a torture uh, I'll yeah. tell you, the, whoa, Congress whoa. Manifesto, the Congress manifesto was like reading the Communist manifesto. The CPI mm. manifesto was like reading a comic book. But the BJP <laughs> manifesto really felt like a serious document. You know, I'll I, tell you what, I, I did the unthinkable. Mm. I even read the DMK manifesto. <laughs> I read that. I read that. A Supreme Court in Chennai. <laughs> And, and you know why i maybe we'll get to the uh manifesto i've already uh up, you know uploaded it and we'll share put the screen up but maybe we can start today's podcast at this yeah i understand that perception and reality are different like you know, a lot of political parties, including the Bharti Janta Party, you know, they signal and do all of that, but you know. You get the direction and the intent of a political party. See, what does the manifesto indicate? It indicates what does the core and the surrounding periphery of a political outfit think. Yeah, hmm. if and this is coming from a guy who is a BJP voter, but I keep on insisting again and again. I'm a freaking Indian passport holder. Hmm. I I care for my country, and when I read the DMK or the Congress, or the Communists, I just get depressed, man, as an Indian. I get depressed. Like, I don't have any option. Hi hai, koi. You know, it's it's uh, rather interesting. It was a Sunday morning when the manifesto was released, right? Sunday hmm. morning, 8.30 a.m. You genuinely have some excitement about the manifesto. Kushal, mm. the Congress manifesto did not even make it to that evening's primetime news cycle. <laughs> For all the right reasons, though, I'm not complaining. I'm just mm. stating the fact. No one in the primetime news debate ecosystem really wanted to care what the manifesto said. Because one, it was much of it, a significant section of it was copy-paste from the 2019 manifesto, like the section on media ownership. Right. Number two, it wasn't just a serious document, right? A Congress party, now whatever version of it exists, on paper, it's the oldest party in India. You would expect yeah. them that 10 years out of power, you've just been handed a heavy defeat in three state assembly elections. You won the fourth one because of the local cadre. You would be a little serious in drafting the constitution uh, in your in the manifesto. Nothing. But we discussed that. And I, I must thank everyone who watch that podcast i'm very new to this game but it was it was wonderful the way people you know came back after that podcast right yeah yeah it was it was fascinating so maybe we can start with this you did mention uh, the congress so maybe we'll get to the bjp manifesto ye kya shagufa hai abhi what is this ye aaj, ye aaj open ka ek article aaya and open normally is not very generous towards the ruling party but look at the paragraph. You spoke about manifesto being a vision document or that reflects the thinking of the party. This is what Rahul Gandhi thinks. And there is so the link the in the benefit article. of the audio, audio viewers. I, I'm going to read this not long ago. An airline honcho happened to get a call from Rahul Gandhi. Shortly after the perfunctory exchange of pleasantries, the Congress leader came up with a demand. Can you share me the cast profile of people who travel on your airline? The corporate hotshot, only too familiar with the eccentricities of politicians, found the query strange and bordering on the frivolous. It left him with a sense of disbelief. His response was that his team never demands information about the cast of his passengers. Gandhi appeared co confused and disconnected the call. They've truly lost it. The Congress has Absolutely. lost it. 
Now compare this with Modi who got Udan, who subsidized the airlines that you run routes in areas that are underserved or areas that you believe the market doesn't exist. It's fine. Some routes will wither away. They are not profitable or they do not have that sort of demand. But at least try wheel support here. And look at this. Matlab, imagine you are going to the plane, you are requesting water from the cabin crew, request kar rahe ho, and you ask you, Ravish Kumar style, mein, kaun jaat? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what this is. This is literally what it is. I agree with and, you. And this article you know, elaborates as to how much of the Congress party is very disconnected with Rahul Gandhi's obsession about caste. So I'll tell you, because we're going to discuss the BJP manifesto at length, some groundwork is necessary, especially for those who might have missed the last uh, podcast also. Hmm. The obsession of the Congress with caste, it's unreal. And there is a simple theory to it that the majority vote is no longer divided. It's going in one swing yeah. towards the ruling party for whatever reasons. We'll come into that later on. Now, majority vote ko tode kaise? Caste is the lowest hanging fruit the Congress understands. I'm not saying it really yeah. is, but that is what the Congress thinks and understands. Mm-hmm. Airline wale ko phone karke. Matlab, Kushal, imagine how awkward would you feel if I were to call you up and say, Kushal, what's the caste breakdown of all the guests you have hosted in all these years on your podcast? You would be like, Kaun bevakuf admi mujhe call kar aur kyun kar <laughs> why? why are we obsessed with caste? Yaar, main kya bolu, yaar? Ko kai baar, I mean, I, I get scared for the future of this country. And may, now I'll, I'll put the manifesto up and and listen, I want to just give one disclaimer today. Uh, it's not like I'm saying Tushar is wrong or I am wrong or anything, but uh, I give these disclaimers every time is because as a host of the podcast, see, podcasts are not like interviews. These are chats between two people where one person happens to speak a little lesser than the other person. But it does not mean that uh, one person does not share their views. So whatever comes out of my mouth is my view. And whatever comes out of Tushar's mouth today will be Tushar's view. I might be in some areas uh, making certain comments after my analysis of the BJP manifesto, which might be praising the BJP and on some rare occasions might be critical of the BJP also. But it does; it should not be attributed to uh, Tushar in any way. And I say this is because I, I like to be very clear up front and I want to be fair to people who come on my podcast and 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 why this pressure comes on me now I would never do these things because now un- good or bad wo to aapke upar hai. Bagar, the podcast is growing now it is being heard by more and more and more and more people so the more this uh, comes I, I just get pressured and I don't want my guests to fail the brunt of my views which is why I'm clarifying this and for the record Tushar has not told me to say this I'm saying this samne se because people might be like, Are, Tushar ne bola hoga, bolne ko. Nahi, usko lag raha hoega ki ye bakwas kyo kar raha hai. Magar mein fir bhi kar raha hoon. Kyunki I care for everyone and, and, and I don't like my thoughts to be, you know, imposed on other people. Now I'm going to put the thing up. Tushar, wo jo uh, Pradhan Mantri ji ki chitthi hai, wo sab to padke koi matlab nahi hai. Honestly, we'll just get into the points. Do, a bit of it was the introduction, the speech that was given that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I think we can get to the... Karna hai. Parivar Jan, right? 11. Page yes, 11. Se yes. chalu karenge. Page 11. Se chalu karenge. This is just the letter by the Prime Minister, followed by letters by the head of the BJP and, and other copy, senior yeah. leaders. Yeah. And, uh, and these are just... They have stated the achievements. I don't want to talk about that either because those are the claims made by the BJP. You can go and download it. It's available. The entire manifesto of the Bharatiya Janata Party is available on their website. You can go and download it. It's in Hindi and English both. Now, I just want to get into uh, page number 11 from where the real meat of the... Uh, mm-hmm. So, let's start here. Modi ki guarantee for Garib Parivar Jan. Now, now, I'll tell you why. Now, this is... I actually start with the problem that I have. Uh, let me share my problem. This first free ration for the next five years. Now we have provided free ration to 80 plus crore citizens in 2020. This see, this started with the onset of COVID where we started bailing people out. I understand people being bailed out during COVID. It was literally, you know, a, a unheard of scenario. And I understand where the Prime Minister and the Bharatiya Janata Party is coming from. But why do we need to continue this now? COVID is gone, right? 
Kushal, you know, there is a different angle to it also. I'll just give you the link also for the benefit of our mm -hmm. viewers. Mm -hmm. We have a surplus of food grains. Let's be very clear about it. When I say food grains, I mean the basic food grains. I do not mean pulses. I do not include millets here. I'm saying food grains. We have a surplus of it. And we don't have a surplus of it since 2014. We have a surplus of it since long ago. Right? And now those surplus ke do hi matlab options bachte hai. Either it rots in food grains, food uh, silos, or it's distributed to the poor. Now, there was a Supreme Court observation back in 2010. We used to hear about this often that FCI go downs and food grains are rotting. And the mm. Supreme Court then asked the UPA2 government boss, if you have a surplus, we don't care why the surplus is. We don't want to get into the economics of it. But if you have a surplus, give it to the poor, give it, subsidize it, don't even give it away for free, subsidize it at a lower cost and people can buy it. So why can we afford this kind of a program where 800 million people or 80 crore people can be given free food grains is because we have a surplus. Now, will the surplus exist forever? Will be answered in this podcast itself in the later discussion when we get to agriculture. The government also understands, this is from 2010, that rotting mm. of food grains is an extremely serious matter. Now, I understand a lot of people come to me on my Twitter timeline and say, you keep talking about freebies, but yet you have no, nothing to say about the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yochna. I have mm. two answers to that. One is we have a surplus. And I would rather see that going into the hands of Labarthis, whatever they must do with it, that's their call, rather than rats feasting over it in the FCI godowns. And the UPA never moved on this. Let's be very clear about it. The UPA never moved on this. The Prime Minister, when he moved this on in 2020, it was the onset of the first national lockdown. We might have mm. discontinued it in 2021, 2022. But then the procurement did not stop from the farmers. Even during COVID, our procurement did not stop. And we have a surplus. But will that surplus exist forever? We'll answer later on. Hmm. Okay. The, the next two are... Uh... I guess, find, hmm. you know, price stabilization fund for vegetables and pulses. This is understandable. I think uh, yeah. any redistributionist, I'm not even saying welfare state, they're going to do this. I Whether the Congress, not even the Congress had mentioned this. Now, uh, continuing pro to provide free and quality health care up to 5 lakhs for poor families under Ayushman Bharat. And uh, I think... Um, they have expanded the scope of Ayushman Bharat this time. Now, uh, Phylak uh, Healthcare is now going to be given to all senior citizens cutting across India that are the age of 70 and above. Am I right? As yes. per yes. if they win and they come in power, they're going to implement it. That's what they're claiming. In yes. The and just to be clear, every individual above the age of 70 and irrespective of their economic status, because Ayushman Bharat cover right now is for a family. What the mm. Prime Minister spoke about in the manifesto meet was above the age of 70, every senior citizen gets covered. And why is this important? It was very interesting how they sort of presented it. Their foundation was not that the elderly need that facility. They do need it. Central government employees, the ones who are retired, obviously avail it even today. But he said, mm. we understand that the cost can be a burden for the children at that age. Hmm. And we want the joint families also to exist. So to think of, we say that what is middle class? Ka kya, middle class ka kya? 70 ke upar private insurance companies are very hesitant. They, comes with, they come with their tons and tons of conditionalities. Hmm. This is a cover which can help a lot of people. And I'll tell you what, Kushal, the day this announcement was made on Sunday, manifesto was 75 page, but in WhatsApp groups, the first thing that was viral in WhatsApp groups. I, I honestly, I was having a chat with my father and I said, Daddy, we don't have to get this cover for our children or mom, because you can afford it. But Daddy said, I guess the government might be thinking the cost of managing the cutoff date between who is eligible and who is not might be more than just making it blanket. It's just, I guess they did it for ease is the reason. Hmm. Probably they will have an option of opting out of it like they did for the LPG subsidy when they took over in yeah. 2014. I, I hope the government gives that because like my family should not take this is huh. my whole point. Right? See, for, even for vaccine, it. the prime minister, when he announced to the nation when, in an evening address that it's going to be free, he said the ones who can pay for it must pay for it. 
he left it as a voluntary decision so probably they might be thinking on the same lines here as well we'll have to see yeah i hope they give this option and i hope indians with uh, full responsibility opt out of it because i think if you are in a position to afford these things you should not put the burden on the government in these cases because it's not fair now mm-hmm. out of the five points that you are looking at your screen i understand the clean cooking fuel i understand the zero uh, electricity bill i in fact i will tell you to explain what this zero electricity is and because the national uh, com- uh, counter to this will be then why do you you know criticize the aam aadmi party for what they do Correct. so you'll have to explain the differences between the two but to me i think this is a fantastic bit that's why i highlighted the top 3 har gal nal the uh, nal se jal is very important that drinking water uh, reaching the final mile is very important i think this is a good initiative that the government is doing it's a tragedy that the congress did not do it in its years and uh, to basically ensure everyone has quality housing through pm awas is a good thing but the main bit i actually i want to understand how does the bjp manage uh, think they're going to do the slum redevelopment because that's like uh, oh my god that's a cesspool especially in mumbai and and major cities across india in mumbai it's already underway but since you understand the city i come from quite well do you remember there used to be a colony a slum which was known as five number panch number colony kehte the i don't know if you are mm-hmm, aware mm-hmm. of it you are mm-hmm. fantastic mm-hmm. so when back in 2008 2009 i was studying in science and i used to go for my tuitions crossing that road it was a national highway mind you the slum was adjacent to a national highway the stink in the morning and the evening because open defecation in the forest ground unimaginable it was like i was going through a cloud of disease 6 years later because we had a chandigarh mp also and mp lads and other policies they removed the slump and today there are houses there proper houses in fact one of my colleagues in my previous organization also did a ground report on that slum redevelopment is important because you cannot leave people to live in an area or a or a spot where they are so vulnerable to diseases especially women and children apne mobile toilets laga rakhe hain wo jo ek seediyan chad ke wo laga nahi hota train ke coach jaisa kuch jiske andar people go and defecate you can't have that yeah. not in this day so i think slum redevelopment abhi sabse iska bada jo litmus test hoga wo hoga dharavi ka mumbai mein and already it's underway there mm-hmm. is going to be all the activism i remember there were some famous south bombay directors who were saying that there is a certain character to the slums which must be retained that's bullshit mm-hmm. no one should be living in a slum in this day and age every child every women every elderly deserves proper facilities ek pakka ghar तो हर कोई डिजर्व करता ना जहां मच्छर या ठंड या बरसात से आप बच पाओ और आवास योजना में ये हुआ चार करोड़ घर लगता है छोटा नंबर है क्योंकि बाकी नंबर सरकार के इतने बड़े होते हैं बट इवन इफ यू फैक्टर इन द फैमिली ऑफ सिक्स इन द रूरल एरियाज दैट्स ट्वेंटी फोर करोड़ पीपल टॉकिंग अबाउट वन सिक्स ऑफ द कंट्रीज पॉपुलेशन विच हैज गॉट अ हाउस टू लिव इन हाउ दे यूज इट हाउ दे मैनेज इट दैट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी बट आप एक घर देते हो किसी को एक आत्मसम्मान आता है सम डिग्री ऑफ सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट दैट क्रीप्स इन एंड स्पेशली विद विमेन ओवरशिप सो दीज दीज थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट दीज आर टैंजेबल रिजल्ट पीपल की पास ना देर इज टिरनी देर इज डिक्टेटरशिप मेजोरिटेरिज्म आप इन लोगों से जाके पूछो टिरनी क्या होती है वेन यू हैव टू लिव इन अउस दैट हैज नो रूफ एंड इट्स रेनिंग कैट्स एंड डॉग्स इट रेन्स कैट्स एंड डॉग्स इन स्टेट्स लाइक ओडिशा वहां तो साइक्लोन आते थे ठीक है बिहार में कैसे बाढ़ आती है उनसे पूछो एक घर होना क्या होता है अब मैं आपको बात करता हूँ हर घर नल से जल के टेल यू इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी आई वॉज इन लद्दाख लास्ट ईयर आई वेंट टिल द पेंगोंगसो लेक ओके पेंगोंगसो से मुश्किल से दो ढाई किलोमीटर दूर एक गांव आता है नॉर्थ की तरफ टूवर्ड्स सियाचिन पोबरांग सो ऑन अ गुड डे द टेम्परेचर्स इन विंटर्स गो टू माइनस थर्टी डे ना हाउ डू यू इम्प्लीमेंट जल जीवन मिशन इन अ प्लेस लाइक दैट सो द गवर्नमेंट आर एक्चुअली स्पेशल पाइपलाइन स्पेशल प्लम्बिंग which went a certain uh, part of it went underground below the freezing level and that is how jal jeevan mission is being implemented there it's very simple for the government to say tyranny of distance terrain is a challenge the climate is a challenge they did ghar ghar jal in fobrang and i urge people to look up where fobrang is on google maps p h o b r a n g they've got jal jeevan mission there 
यूपी बिहार मध्य प्रदेश में राजस्थान में आसान है करना की ठीक है यू कनेक्टेड एन एवरी थिंग बट इमेजिन डूइंग इट देर दैट वॉज लाइक आई ओपनिंग फॉर मी इन ओडिशा इवेंट एंड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट had actually sort of claimed that it was their program and i asked the women there as like do you know who is doing all this the water tank is being set up and now the pipelines uh, would be done and they said they knew so it's it's fantastic you know these things are very trivial for people like us who have grown up with sufficient resources but agar aapko raat ko barish ki chinta nahi karni subah 2 ghante ja ke pani nahi lana agar barish bahut zyada aapke ghar ke bahar keechad nahi hai सांप बिच्छू अंदर नहीं आ रहे दीज आर बिग थिंग्स विच फॉर एटी करो पीपल अंटिल ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन वर अ लग्जरी आई डोंट नो वट जस्टिफिकेशन कैन वन गिव अबाउट दिस Hmm. Now let's talk about the PM Surya Ghar Muft Bill Yojana. Like, what what exactly is this Yojana, and how is it different for, than from Kejriwal giving Muft Bijli? Okay, this is not free electricity. Hmm. Okay. If I were to pay rupees five every time I went to an ATM, for example, a hypothetical, and I stop using ATMs altogether, cash altogether, and I switch to UPI, so my that ATM ka kharcha bach jayega. Sarkar mujhe free me transact karne ko nahi de rahi hai. What the government is saying: those who can sign up for this program, go for the solar energy option, and reduce your electricity bill to bare minimum or zero hmm. if you can. they want to implement this even in the avas yojana households now now this does mm. two three things the network effect we talk about one the people like people in posh localities say south delhi they have their terraces they have those resources where they can go for solar energy options they can at least try with a part of a house ek face se try kariye kuch electronics se try kariye aap try kariye and then you can probably upgrade it scale it up however you want to want but the people with actual resources can actually do this number 2 it creates a manufacturing industry locally for all these appliances and equipment from your solar cells to whatever uh, you know other equipment is required that is also very important important number 3 and about the electricity bill the government is not saying we'll wave off your electricity bills please understand kejriwal says we'll wave off your electricity bill irrespective of where you live in a slum or in civil lines or in a shish mahal the government is saying you go for the solar energy option bring down your electricity bill to zero and if you have a surplus sell it to us make money out of it the government is only creating a nudge it's not waving off anything fair enough so basically what government is doing is creating a capex it's a capex yes. investment right that's and the difference and it has a spillover effect in other areas also as i said okay got it so now this is about the middle class uh, for the uh, middle class uh, um uh, okay they say they'll give affordable quality housing and healthcare access to quality education this is just generic i don't know how uh, okay the rera act uh, they say they will strengthen the rera act now this is good because i will believe the rera was a one good thing that they had done now let, let's talk jobs so they're they're saying they are going to uh, expand the startup ecosystem to tier 2 and tier 3 cities now again this is my criticism the reason those jobs don't go to those cities is because those cities are not attractive enough in terms of having skilled labor which is why they keep staying you know in and around the metro areas that is the reason why it's just easier for companies to set up shop over there which is why in spite of uh, multiple problems in bengaluru they stay in bengaluru or in hyderabad or in pune or in mumbai for that matter is because they have a running infrastructure for companies the attraction but i don't know i mean the government has not the bjp has not explained how they're going to manage to do this i understand that they're they're going to do this but i mean i just wanted to make this clear but you can make your points over this too see high value jobs are two three ways of interpreting it one you're creating it in the services industry manufacturing anyway is not high value as of now because we're not into semiconductors yet baki foxconn vistron ke plants are they're not in chennai they are away from chennai and bangalore so that's one example but if you look at the services industry a lot of second tier cities are now absorbing a bit of the traffic because the cities also need to be decongested look at what's going on in bengaluru with the water crisis and i'm not trying to blame or pin it to a government but water is a finite resource it will run out at some point look at what's happening in ncr we don't have the water problem but we have a traffic problem we have a pollution problem and eventually delhi will have to expand into ncr and that is why rrts is important 
so creating high value jobs is just expecting that as the economy grows you will have second tier cities let's say in the vicinity of the big cities if we're talking delhi you're looking at jaipur or you're looking at chandigarh jahan already services industry hai but it will further scale up you're looking at greater gurgaon even further from gurgaon towards rajasthan or looking at noida towards agra just to give a few examples you're looking at the mumbai metropolitan region you're looking at bengaluru expanding which is already happening so of course they want to take the jobs to the second and third tier cities but it will warrant the companies being interested and that is where the infrastructure investment becomes important if today you are connecting a delhi merit via an expressway or an rrts also then there is an incentive for a company to go set up shop there otherwise there is none connectivity to banani padegi na wahi aapki baat hai ki facilities to deni padengi na the malls and all will take care of themselves those are the easy parts the hard hmm. infrastructure that is where the attention is needed i think this government's biggest achievement is infrastructure so when you know if they write improving infrastructure for ease of living i actually have no doubt that they're going to do it because they have a track record of the last 10 years where under gadkari ji a lot of infrastructure has been built and yeah, can, you, can you go up just the second point the middle class healthcare i hmm. must stress how underrated a success jan aushadhi kendras are probably at the risk of repeating myself from last podcast Congress opened 80 in six years. This government opened 10,500 in 10 years, and I see them. I go through Delhi, idhar udhar. I've seen them in Chandigarh, in my city. I've seen them in a couple of other places also where I have been to. People who need to buy medicines regularly, it's a big blessing for them, and these are good medicines. They are working. Inka, if you go to the website, they have an entire count of how many kendras, wherever the location is. what is the number of drugs and other equipment they are selling i think it's one of the underrated successes of this government which doesn't get featured that much yeah <coughs> well it's sustainable cities okay that bit uh, okay this the women thing uh, nari shakti we have empowered 1 crore women Uh, okay this is what they have done i mean there was nothing specific here uh, that stood out for me that i want to like okay i'm going to talk about it uh, the only But, thing is i the, the one point i would say that can be discussed is increasing women in the workforce participation because in india it's only 26% and i think that's a giant problem in india you know kushal interestingly what is the biggest enabler for women to access more job opportunities its infrastructure you mm. look at delhi as a case study the mere existence of the entire metro network enables a woman to safely start from gurgaon in the morning end up in mm. somewhere in noida to work and come back in the evening mm. irrespective of what time the sunset is summers or winters infrastructure that was such a huge enabler hum kai bar isko you know people sort of uh, there was a viral video of one uh, gentleman Uh, who said kya hame sahi mein do guna highway ki zarurat hai kya hame sahi maine mein do guna airport chahiye people actually fall for that nonsense but for women the freedom to travel safely long distances within a city it's huge and the three crore lakhpati didi ye ye kisne bola ye dhruv rati ne bola tha na yes wo viral ho to raha clip abhi on twitter pe यार ये मतलब एक मिनट तो नाउ आई हैव टू तू अभी तूने मुझे सफिशिएंटली एंग्री कर दिया ये जो ये वाहियात वाहियात लोग हैं ये ये आई मीन दिस इज अ वाहियात माइंडसेट आई 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 से दिस विद ऑल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी नथिंग इरिटेट्स मी मोर देन दैट अंकल हु सेज मनी इजंट एवरीथिंग हु हैज मनी ऑलरेडी द द टुच्चा अर्बन डवेलर who made money the youtuber who literally made money on the basis of capitalism which involves infrastructure technology and all the things that come this boy lives in germany i don't hmm. care live there mere ko koi problem nahi hai main khud saal mein char panch mahine west mein rehta hu bhai magar hmm. kuch to sharam kar na kuch to uh, mil gaya mere ko ye ghatiya insaan ka clip mujhe ye clip bajani hai podcast pe mujhe ye aadmi itna irritate karta hai na ki matlab mere ko gussa aata hai aise logon ke upar ki tum aisi vaiyat baatein karte ho don't you have a freaking functioning brain man like non functioning brain hai kya is bacche ka ye ye bol raha hai na ye aage unhone promise kiya hai ki 2022 tak ye double kar denge number of highways ko aur airports ko bhi double kar denge ab ye maine aaj 
क्लियर की कैटेगरी में इसलिए डाला है दोस्तों क्योंकि क्या हमें सही में जरूरत है और हाईवे क्या हमें सही में डबल हाईवे की जरूरत है डबल एयरपोर्ट की यार ये क्यों पैदा हो गया है इसकी मतलब क्या इसकी वैल्यू क्या है ह्यूमैनिटी में आई आई से दिस विद फुल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ये पैदा क्यों हुआ है क्यों हमें रोड you know, चाहिए आई थिंक हमें तो बहुत रोड चाहिए हमें तो बहुत रेल चाहिए हमें बहुत कुछ और चाहिए वी आर नॉट बिल्डिंग फॉर द टाइम्स वी आर आल्सो प्लेइंग द कैच अप गेम ऑफ द लास्ट 60 इयर्स पीपल शुड रिमेंबर व्हेन इंडिया इज बिल्डिंग टुडे यू नॉट ओनली बिल्डिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू व्हाट्स गोइंग अराउंड इन द इकॉनमी टुडे यू आर आल्सो प्लेइंग द कैच अप गेम so there is a possibility that abhi tak jo humne banaya wo sirf catch up tha that abhi hum 2014 15 ke level par to aaye shayad banana to ab hum shuru karenge ab ek bahut basic example ho delhi mumbai two of the busiest richest powerful cities in india they did not have a dedicated expressway between them ne aur isne wal mein iska point kya tha kyunki maine iska vaiyat video thoda kisi ne aur mere ko bheja tha वो बोलता है इकोलॉजी डैमेज होती है खोते यही तो यही तो वो आरे वालों की बेवकूफी थी यार ये लोग को ये, मैं अगेन रिपीट कर रहा क्यों पैदा हुए हो यार तुम लोग तुम लोग की आईक्यू okay. क्या मतलब सेवेंटी के नीचे है क्या इकोलॉजी की भी बात करते हैं आज दिल्ली मेरठ एक्सप्रेस वे बना द वे द कार्स मूव देर डोंट दे रियलाइज कार मूविंग एट अटन स्पीड ऑल्सो हैज अ प्रोग्रेसिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन एमिशन अ कार स्टक इन अ जैम इन अ नैरो रोड विल एमिट मोर a car moving on an express way will emit less common bloody sense nahi hai na main main bol raha hu see our aur ye matlab mujhe bolne ko log bolenge ab main bol raha hu hamare bharat ke top of the line youtubers jinke millions of subscribers hain cutting across political leaning are truly low iq people i say you this know, with man. no shame No, you know, Kushal. I'm so glad. And this one thing about Modi and Gadkari and his different ministries, because a lot of them are involved. Railways is also involved. Finance is also involved. Modi has displayed in the last ten years an obsession with infrastructure, which reminds me of FDR from the 1930s America. Build, 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 yep. build, build, and that served yes. America well for the next hundred years. आज अमेरिका का बाइडेन बात करता है कि चलो वी नीड टू थ्री ट्रिलियन फॉर अ बिग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पुश बट आफ्टर व्हेन आफ्टर ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड इयर्स ऑफ एफडीआर फ्रैंकलिन डी रूजोवेल वन ऑफ द बेस्ट प्रेसिडेंट्स अमेरिका हैड और डिबेटेबल कोई नया डिबेट ना चालू करवा दू मैं बट ही सॉ अमेरिका थ्रू द ग्रेट डिप्रेशन थ्रू द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर ऑलमोस्ट अंटिल द एंड एंड ही सेट बिल्ड 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 दैट इज हाउ अमेरिका गॉट आउट ऑफ द ग्रेट डिप्रेशन जस्ट ब्लडी बिल्ड और यहाँ पर पीपल आर स्टैंडिंग अप अगेंस्ट मेट्रो इन मुंबई what where is the dignity in people clinging on to just a train and moving no and, one and deserves it in respect of their economic status kaushik basu will share photos of 30 wahiyat buildings of kolkata when say buildings I, on the verge of collapse collapse buildings on the verge or, of collapse इनको झोपड़े में क्या ब्यूटी दिखती है मैं आपको बोलता हूं ना इनसे वाहियात इंसान कोई नहीं है ये जर्मनी में बैठता है बोलता हाईवे क्यों चाहिए और पुत्र तू एक काम करी तू है ना ऑटो बानू फावड़ा लेके तोड़ना शुरू कर दे तोड़ना उधर रहता है और ये सब लोग ऐसे हैं और ये राइट विंग लेफ्ट विंग में दोनों है राइट विंग की टुचे नस है ना वो अलग होती है वो खुद जाएंगे एकदम टॉप ऑफ द लाइन अमेरिकन कैनेडियन ब्रिटिश जर्मन यूनिवर्सिटी में अपने पुत्र यू नो दो पोतिया सारे टॉप ऑफ द लाइन यूनिवर्सिटी भेजना है और फिर करेंगे तू है ना तू जा वो उस वाली पाठशाला में क्यों बे और ये सेम ये लेफ्ट के टुच्चे होते हैं पैसा कमाया कैपिटलिज्म से रहे वेस्ट में सारे पैसे बनाए द गुड थिंग्स दैट मॉडर्निटी गिवस यू दूसरों को दूसरों को तुमने सड़ा गला रखना है ये वो ध्रुव राठी हो ये कौशिक बासु हो या हमारे राइट विंग के सो कॉल्ड एक सर्टन लॉट है जो ओए होए होए बड़ा मेरे को ये लोग फ्रस्ट्रेट करते हैं मेरे को इतना गुस्सा कर इनको देखते यही बात है ना अभी एक ना एड आई कांग्रेस की उसमें लेडी गेट्स अ स्विंग मशीन फॉर सेल्फ बिकॉज अपेरेंटली कांग्रेस इज गिवन वन लाख आई अर्ज एवरी वन गो वॉच दैट वीडियो ऑन राहुल गांधी ऑब्जर्व द सराउंडिंग्स घर की हालत देखो अंधेरों में वो घर है शाम के समय बल्ब नहीं लगा हुआ सीएफएल नहीं लगा हुआ फिलामेंट वाला बल्ब लगा हुआ एक ऊपर से एक वेंडर खड़ा है पक्की दुकान में नहीं खड़ा 
ऐसी बस एक रेडी लगाकर खड़ा है बारिश में उस महिला के पास पूरा रेनकोट भी नहीं है ये है कांग्रेस का ट्रेलर एंड आई वाई से दिस वी नीड टू स्पेंड ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्लीज एनी वन हु थिंक्स और हैज डबल माइंड ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर गो रीड हाउ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हैज सर्व द बिगेस्ट इकोनॉमीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बोथ अमेरिका एंड चाइना वेन दे बिल्ड and if the prime minister is doing that for you kpx se hamara 11 lakh crore ka chala gaya aur mujhe lagta hai is sarkar 5 saal aur rahi to 15 lakh crore to hamare hote hote touch kar jayega like we'll see yeah. it in the next with our eyes that 15 lakh crore is being spent a year on infrastructure and you know i'll tell yeah. you kushal what even taxpayers don't mind that you speak to taxpayers now they say he is building infrastructure he is building airports which reminds me of a joke rjd ka bhi manifesto aaya and what they say in the manifesto we'll build five airports in bihar for better interstate connectivity <laughs> like tell them which airline would want a sh- route as short as that but anyway really, what, but isn't it ironical that they are so regional in their thinking and they are fighting a national election and writing such things who the hell so does this have we, have we forgotten lalu prasad yadav as a railway minister what was happening then sabko yaad hai na अच्छा ऐसे जी पे ना एक मेरे को लंबी बात करनी थी वी कैन डू दिस नाउ और प्रॉब्ली लेटर कौन सी हाँ हाँ उस पे हाँ कर लो अभी कर लो है ही आया आगे हाँ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक दैट सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स ना हवा में बात हो रही है ठीक है बट अगर मैं नवंबर का ही स्टार्ट लू देवर अराउंड नाइनटी लाख सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप विच कवर्ड अप्रोक्सीमेटली टेन करो वेमेन टेन करो वेमेन इन नाइनटी लाख सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप अब अगर वो दस करोड़ महिलाओं के घर पांच लोग भी हैं दैट इज फिफ्टी करोड़ पीपल इम्पैक्टेड विद एन एडिशनल सोर्स ऑफ अर्निंग सिंपल मैथ्स नाउ पीपल आस्क आप ये सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स की बातें करते हैं क्रेडिट की बातें करते हैं इस मैनिफेस्टो में एक बहुत अच्छी चीज थी अगर आप सेकेंड लास्ट पॉइंट को हाईलाइट करो सेकेंड लास्ट दिस वन एनहेंसिंग मार्केट सेकेंड एंड थर्ड द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड एम सॉरी द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड पॉइंट बोथ ऑफ दैम Yes, hmm. we will empower women self-help groups with the skills and tools in the key service sectors like IT, healthcare, education, retail, and tourism. अभी तक हम जब self-help group imagine करते हैं ना लोग लज्जत पापड़ का example दे देते हैं या hand looms का local handicrafts का. Now as the rural economy is also transforming, you'll have them reach out into healthcare also. Say a pharmacy, for instance, education, tuitions for kids. बिकॉज डिजिटल एजुकेशन हो जाएगी यूट्यूब पे सब कुछ है जिसको पढ़ना हो रिटेल एंड इवन टूरिज्म ना वाई दी सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप एक्चुअली वर्क यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट है दिस प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन हिस्स फर्स्ट एड्रेस फ्रॉम द रेड फोर्ट सेट आई वॉन्ट टू ओपन बैंक अकाउंट फॉर ऑल द ऑपोजिशन रेडिक्यूल्ड अरे बैंक अकाउंट खोलेगा लोगों के पास तो पैसे नहीं है बेवकूफ बना रहे हैं ब्ला ब्ला Cut to 2024. 10 years later, you have 52 crore Jandhan accounts with deposits over rupees 2 lakh crore in them. Now, Jandhan accounts se kya hua? Ek Aadhaar aur mobile ke saath Trinity bani. Logo ko DBTs aane lage sida account mein. Pehle kya adat thi? Panchayat ke paas ja rahe, paisa nikal rahe, koi middleman hai, usse paisa le rahe, cut de rahe. Ab logo ko dikha ki bhaiya paisa to directly aa rahe account mein. Debit bhi ho raha hai, credit bhi ho raha hai. Trust bana ek system pe. we are talking about people who had no acquaintance with the banking system until 2014 so they took their time 3 4 years and i spoke to a few bankers also and you know the bankers in the beginning the ones who worked in public sector banks they said hum gaon gaon jaate the aur wo kehte the hum karenge kya account ka hamare paas to paise nahi hai but it was the women who sort of took the plunge ki nahi hame zyada acha control milega apne finances pe let's go for a bank account so cut to 2016 17 upi happens Now people who have had their first twist, uh, twist with a digital payment, a rupee debit card, a bank account, a DBT coming to their account, they say let's try out UPI. So apps are coming out. Phone pay is coming. Bheem is coming. Google is also coming out. There are cash back offers. Whatever. The nudge is enough for people to sign up. 2016-17 we are talking. Cut to 2024. Today April. Kushal, 13.5 billion transactions a month. 13 hmm. or 14. let me just get you the right number for a, uh, for the last month it's 13.44 billion in march 2024 13.44 billion a month agar hum ek cagr pe bhi chale of 20% for the next 5 years we are looking at a billion transactions a day by 2029 via upi 
एंड वॉट डिट पी चिदम्बरम से कौन करेगा अच्छा चलो यूपीआई पर यूज टू हुए देर इज अनदर एक्सेप्शनल थिंग हैपनिंग विच आई मस्ट टॉक अबाउट इट इज कॉल्ड द अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर फ्रेमवर्क विच वॉज इनिशियटेड बाई दिस गवर्नमेंट अराउंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी तो अभी क्या होता है जब किसी को लोन लेने जाना होता है आप अपना सारा चिट्ठा कागजों पर बैंक टू बैंक घूमते थे अब अगर किसी को पचास हजार का लोन चाहिए बैंक कहता है भाई मेरे को तो ये पूरा ही नहीं पड़ेगा मैं तेरे को एंटरटेन क्यों करूं मैं अपना एक बंदा तेरे लिए क्यों लगा सो अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर इज बेसिकली data exchange between a financial information provider and a financial information user to so, provider kon hua wo aapka gst network ho sakta hai income tax network ho sakta hai aapka khud ka bank ho sakta hai user kon hua wo bank jo aapko loan dena chahta hai so with one switch a one approval like you enter your pin for upi you enter your pin that you grant the request for the provider to share information with the user all your data via the digi locker will be sent to the banks and then you can get an instant application from multiple banks at the same time kisko kya loan chahiye chahe 1000 rupaye ka loan ho 5000 rupaye ka loan ho lakh rupaye ka loan ho 10 lakh rupaye ka loan aur ab to mudra bhi 20 lakh ka ho jayega theek hai now why this account aggregator is phenomenal is last april kushal 23 only 6 million accounts had been connected via this framework 6 million the number for this april till now cumulative is 72 million Look at the jumps hmm. that are happening. So people are able to access credit. सरकार ने तो एस एच जी के लिए अलग से क्रेडिट रूम रखा ही हुआ है जैसे एफ पी ओ के लिए रखा है बट नाउ पीपल बिकॉज दे आर सो वेल एक्वेंटेड विद डिजिटल फाइनेंशियल इको सिस्टम दे आर एबल टू एक्सेस इट ऑफकोर्स देर आर सिविल कॉमन सिविल सेंटर्स एंड बैंक एवरी वन हेल्पिंग दैट बट दीज एस एच जी आर नॉट जस्ट फिगमेंट ऑफ इमेजिनेशन स्मृति रानी इन अ वेरी वेरी वंडरफुल ब्रूट इंटरव्यू when we she tutored the anchor well she said that the collective valuation of the businesses they manage is in excess of 37 billion ab agar ye 10% pe bhi cagr grow kare agle 5 saal kahan pahunchega hmm and that is why the government's call ki hum it health care education ko bhi dekhenge ye opportunities create karega ek mahila ek coaching center hi shuru kar le kisi gaon mein ya third tier city mein himalayan region mein she employs five young girls or women or anyone teaching simple teaching for an entrance exam teaching for primary whatever but it's opportunity uske liye which is why i said i like point 4 a lot that they're going to invest in the infrastructure for women's hostels and crèches etc yes. i think that is very important because they have children and children also can't be neglected okay fine participation in sports and um, that is all good but again this was appreciated that the focus is on building public toilets for women oh boss i mean can i just say i love cricket you if you are a woman uh, tushar you cannot go and watch a cricket match in india you cannot yes yaar bathroom hi nahi hote it is i and yeah. for the bcci the richest cricketing body in the world to have such abysmal infrastructure like women can't watch ipl they You know, वो आने के पहले मतलब मेरी फीमेल फ्रेंड्स मेरे को बोलती है मैं पूरा उसके दो तीन घंटे पहले पानी नहीं पीती हूँ क्योंकि मेरे को बाथरूम नहीं जा रहा है उधर ग्राउंड में इट इज अबिजमल इट इज अबिजमल सो दिस वॉज गुड आई कॉन्ट कमेंट अबाउट स्टेडियम वर्ल्ड कप हुआ था लास्ट ईयर एंड आई सॉर्ट ऑफ गेट अ स्टोरी ऑन द स्टेडियम इन डेली एंड एट दैट टाइम द आई सी सी द बी सी सी सॉरी गे फंड ऑफ स्टेट बोर्ड टू अपग्रेड द फेसिलिटी सो एटलीस्ट इन डेली इट वॉज वेरी वेल डन I actually done a elaborate story on it, but baki I don't know. But yes, people in Ahmedabad have sometimes said we need better facilities. Wang khede me to yar. You know, irrespective, even in public places, sometimes women only tell us that you know the public washrooms aren't that well kept. Ab kiski galti hai wo nahi pata. But the mere thought that you know it's not just men; it's women also who are using the highways, expressways. So they only need facilities. It's a brilliant thing. Bathroom hi nahi hote. But bathroom hote hi nahi. Functioning hi nahi hote. Yes. लगने वाले को लगेगा बहुत बेसिक चीज है पर पूछो जिसको चाहिए होता है बहुत जरूरी है या या आई मीन इट्स 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 अनबिलीवेबली क्रेजी बाकी ओके फाइन स्ट्रेंथनिंग द इमरजेंसी हेल्पलाइन वाज अनदर गुड थिंग फॉर द इमरजेंसी रिस्पांस सपोर्ट सिस्टम पीपल डोंट रियलाइज लाइक दीज आर केपेक्स इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दिस इज नॉट वेलफेयरिज्म दिस इज लाइक एनी डीसेंट सोसाइटी शुड हैव दीस थिंग्स एंड इट्स अ गुड थिंग अगेन दैट द इमरजेंसी हेल्पलाइन दैट दे हैव स्पोकन अबाउट They, they, it's a very granular way of looking, which shows that they actually identify problems better. 
they the the one big difference between the bjp and the congress manifesto was the congress manifesto was very generic the bjp manifesto mm. is very specific very specific like it talks about you yeah it's very progressive very modern uh and very dharmic yeah the word you look at it's rooted in reality yeah and and very specific about problems that they have researched it shows a mm. government that has done good research so this was there uh, the helpline bit also was something that i liked okay this is uh, for youth uh, paper leaks to congress ne bhi baat ki thi bjp bhi nahi ki hai it's it's pretty much the same again transparency in examination was uh, the same uh, congress spoke about a very weird uh, startup eco fund i think 5000 crores ka uh, mm. Uh, the bjp has approached it in a very different way uh again kushal baat hai har kisi ko na app bana ke startup nahi karna hota hai har koi ek co-working space mein ja ke starbucks ki coffee aur apple ka mac leke startup nahi karta ek to hamari thinking as policy analyst or political commentators or just casual observers of politics itni generic ho gayi hai ki hum sochte hain startup are matlab app banayega aur co-working space mein baithega nahi there are people who are just looking for someone to help them buy some basic equipment which costs like 2 to 1 and a half lakhs here a photographer who wants to just cover weddings because photography is a huge huge business in india now especially after the prime minister's call to wed in india wo kehta hai mujhe kon loan dega theek hai ghar se main mang nahi sakta mere chalo facilities nahi hai resources hai jo bhi hai startup sirf aap ye mat samjhe ki app banayi ya aisa kuch a women wanting to get together five women and just open a boutique or a salon or a manufacturing unit or a bakery all of it is a startup anything that employs people generates revenue and for the people working there for the government it's a, it's a equally an important startup tabhi wah mudra ki jo baat aati hai na 46 crore loan and 46 crore loan doesn't mean 46 crore people ek samajwadi spokesperson mila tha wo kehta 46 crore logo ko mila yahan 6 log hai batao kin teen logo ko mila hai he confused it that way so 31 crore loans have been given by women ho raha hai na kushal isme kya hota hai 50000 ke loan se normally start hota hai 20 to 50000 depending on people civil score and all those people repay raghuram rajan had said that mudra would be the foundation of the next big npa crisis back in 2016 17 aaj mudra loans ka npa 3% ke aas paas hai which is wonderful mm-hmm. अब आप बताओ कौन सी दुनिया में आप क्या हैंड आउट दे सकते हो ऐसा कैश ड्रॉप दे सकते हो किसी को कि भाई तुम 10 लाख का बिजनेस स्टार्ट करो आज कुछ इमेजिन इफ समवन लाइक यू इंस्पायर्ड बाय यू वांट्स टू स्टार्ट अ पॉडकास्ट इन हिज लोकल डायलेक्ट इन हिमाचल एंड ही वुड वांट टू प्रोबली रीच आउट टू आस्क व्हाट द सेटअप इज अब उसको हिमाचल में कहां से हेल्प मिलेगी वैसे दिस इज व्हाई मुद्रा लाइक थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट हम्म I agree. The Mudra scheme was something that even I liked it. So ensuring employment opportunities for the youth. Uh, honestly, um, this is also generic. If you ask me, like I would wait yeah. for the policy document. But this was like, okay, fine. They will do this, this, this. I mean, this was generic. So I don't want to talk about it. Uh, tourism. Okay, fine. Uh, the biggest thing again for tourism is, bhaiya. Uh, I I say this with uh, as someone who loves traveling in India. outside india both india's biggest problem is dirt see they don't understand how much people get turned off when they come to india with the dirt and uh, mm-hmm. secondly indians and their unbelievable ability to hate their own monuments where you go to hampi and you say raju loves lata written on an ancient mm-hmm. monument monument mera man karta hai aise chappal phekun aise logon ke upar so these are some of the things uh, that we should be you know more uh, like if the prime minister can talk about these things because i know people don't realize like uh, while the prime minister might have a significant chunk of indians hating him he has overwhelming popularity which poll after poll shows and if the prime minister can talk about loving your ancient spots with indians i think he, it would go a long way uh, do you remember the prime minister made that politically incorrect statement that you know you can always fry pakoras to make a living and how he was yeah. mocked everywhere mujhe ek cheez samajh aaya and us time i was probably not in journalism also i said 140 crore people in india food is always going to be a good business abhi wo instagram pe koi vada pav wala viral ho jata hai koi chai wala viral ho jata hai a chai wala was 
was meeting Bill Gates. I mean, call it cringe or whatever you want to, but that's the reality before you. There are people who have combined the access to internet with the digital public infrastructure, with easy availability to credit, and even with their small, probably what many would think insignificant businesses, carved out an identity for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, One more point. Yeah, the Mudra loan limit will be increased double to 20 lakhs. So just, yeah. Uh, under this the Tarun category. The believing in the people, you know, it's very simple to say, Kya 10 lakh tak hai? this is the shock we can take in case NPA suddenly rise for some black swan event. But the government is saying, let's push it. This feedback is coming from the ground. How are you getting payments? How are the bank's ka recovery? Because eventually you don't have to give the bank. But if you are so clear that you are going to go to 20 lakh, then you are getting ground se positive feedback from the ground. And now we cover hmm. every day economic news, cover karte. tell me one bank which is complaining about Mudra or hesitant about Mudra. Hmm. I agree. I agree. So that that's that's a good thing, which is why I mentioned that okay. expanding the Mudra loan was again good. Because see, it's not a dole. It is money given to dhanda kar, paisa bana aur tu mereko wapis de. I like capitalism. I like people who are interested to, to, to do dhando. That's what I want yeah. people to do. And that's what the government is asking for. They are saying, we will take a loan. We will take a loan, but we will take a loan. We will take a loan, take a loan, take a loan, take a loan, make an economy. This is the best. Listen, this is going to be a killer. Like, uh, we will expand Ayushman Bharat. We already mentioned it to senior citizens and provide them access to free and quality health care. This is a game changer, boss. If this government comes and manages to deliver this, boss, Try and understand, okay? I'm giving you a 40-year down-the-line view. After 2050, India's population is going to start declining. In the next few mm-hmm. years, India is going to also start aging. We're going to have a significant number of elderly coming in year after year. For a government that has started now to cover more people under the baseline free health care over the years, I think is a very sensible thing. Once again, I have a minor problem that people like my parents should not be included in this because they truly can afford health care by themselves. But I think this is, I mean, kudos to the government. I would have said kudos to Congress also if they would have done this. For the record, people say, but kudos to this government. Targeted healthcare, very good. I, I really appreciate what the government has done for the elderly over here. And I, I really love it. यही फर्क आ जाता है सोच का आपने सोचा कांग्रेस हो आप वो 5 लाख का कवर दे रहे अपन 25 लाख का बोल देते डोप लगेगा आप स्पेसिफिक्स hmm. में तो जाओ इमेजिन द मोदी गवर्नमेंट डिड नॉट हैव टू प्रॉमिस रेजिंग द कवर नॉट इवन बाय 50% टू 7 एंड 1/2 लाख्स दे सेड अभी जो चल रहा है अपन चलाएंगे और हम जो हमारे सीनियर सिटीजंस हैं उनके लिए भी ये करेंगे एंड आई थिंक कुशल टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन देयर विल बी एन ऑप्शन टू ऑप्ट आउट इट शुड बी आई थिंक People with resources, they might want to just stay out of it because they'll have their own insurance schemes also. But I think if everyone sees a huge line of senior citizens on the voting day, this is the reason. This is being discussed Absolutely. very, very much on WhatsApp. And this is Hawaii promise because 50 crore people are already covered. Every thing is dashboard. Absolutely. Hai. Absolutely. Philosophers, lie. Philosophers lie, numbers don't. <laughs> yeah, philosophers lie, numbers don't. Yes, and, and boss. Jisko benefit mila na, main batata hu, jase, I mean, I no longer run the factory. So one of my ex-employee, you know, um, and uh, he was like, I'm cooperation karana tha, and I was like, ye scheme mein figure out kar. Boss, hua uska. Aishman hmm. mein hua. He got that healthcare done, man. Uski aankho ka ilaj hua. So I know it for a fact it works, man. Uh, another thing I loved was delivering government services at the doorstep. If they can, right now they don't. I honestly don't say this with uh, any malintent or anything. It's not as good. If they can improve this, boss, it's going to be wonderful. And uh, with digitization increasing, uh, people don't understand. Like I'll give you a small example. You know, I have true caller ne mere ko sponsor nahi kiya before someone says. But, you know, something as simple as true caller in the phone for senior citizens. What does that mean? It's written in the spam, it's this, it's this, it's this. Dude, senior citizens, how many senior citizens are basic thing from a basic thing? Frauds. Frauds. How many? It's a little thing. That they look at the phone, okay, this is going to be spam. So, it will happen. It's done. And, and and these small things matter for senior citizens. So I like how the government has done this. Uh, and 
I loved this bit also because, mm. and this is coming from an atheist, right? People might think, but I appreciate this a lot. To facilitate a convenient Tirth Yatra, listen, at this age, a lot of people, they, they do care about these things. And and I, I, I thought this was, again, very good. I, I appreciate that the government will work with state governments to ensure convenient facilities for senior citizens to undertake sacred pilgrimages across the country, irrespective of religion. That is the one thing about the government, especially the BJP, when it comes to policies. Uh, unlike the Congress that creates things like communal hey, Congress violence. Hoti, haan, Congress hoti, haan, kai minority would go Yeah, but see, this they are I not mean, going to care. So when the government builds this, yeah. Ye minority would go And I think this will be a two-fold approach. One, the infrastructure would be done in a manner that it's friendly for the senior citizens. And two, mm -hmm. I think for the lower income groups, it could be also about some monetary help, if at all. Or yeah, some... I, I, I really appreciate this. Because people yes. don't understand, like for a senior citizen, how much this matters. I I the isko advance my highlight karke rakata. I really was impressed by this. Okay. Kisan Samman again. I didn't like this increasing the MSP. <laughs> Just stating. Uh, now, now let's come to the first point that we discussed about surplus. Ab increase yeah. in MSP to koi surprise nahi hai. The government has given more MSP both in terms of quantum and value. Procure bhi zyada kiya to paisa bhi obviously zyada diya but ab agle page par aate hain hmm. and yahan par ye if you know you know wali baat aa jayegi ha now the problem why we have a surplus kushal is now we go back to the very first point where we started from is a lot of farmers are still hesitant to move away from wheat and paddy in states like punjab haryana bengal even madhya pradesh but at mm. the same time, there are also things that were importing needlessly, like pulses and edible oil. So that is why this government has written that we want to make our farmers self-reliant when it comes to production of all these things. And this Tur, Urad, Masur, Mung, Chana, I will give you again. The Piyush Goyal Ji was heading the meeting with Arjun Munda Ji. When the protest was being protested, he said that you should adopt kariye aap ise cultivate kariye wheels get into a contract through our agencies with you to buy for 5 years with no upper limit the farmers led by bhagwant man refused but those were different times now aam aadmi party is a different party bhagwant man is finally a chief minister nevertheless look at the second point new clusters for vegetable production and storage so they are nudging the farmer in multiple ways aapko credit facility bhi de rahe hain aapko infrastructure support bhi de rahe hain aapko natural farming ka bhi ek option. They are also investing a lot in FPOs and FPOs are also doing phenomenally well for this government. So the government is a very important point on the next page. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the next page. Haan. Crop diversification? Yeah, yes, yes, you got me. Yes. So they are also talking about incentivizing crop diversification. Do you know who will hate these points the most? The Canadians. <laughs> yes. You know why so I'm suddenly, saying this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Suddenly they realize that, you know, uh, democracy. The Canadians is should shiver. They should shiver because a significant chunk of their trade depends on hmm. some things that the, B, the BJP says they will change in their manifesto. And honestly, it's a good thing because now I never thought agriculture would become a national security issue. We have to hmm. move. Uh, and remove uh, our pulses and millets dependency outside India. We have to. So I'm glad that, uh, that the BJP has identified this and uh, crop diversification is the need of the hour. I don't know if uh, Tumhari or Meri ethnic state Punjab is se adopt karegi. We have to do it. We have farm law wale podcast. We have discussed it. We have to do it. We have to do it. We have so this, 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 see, this is a very modernistic look to agriculture. Again, they are talking about logistics. They are talking about infrastructure, organic farming, further incentivizing crop diversification. They are saying mm -hmm. we are not leaving the farmers on their own. Congress can take MSP. In the past, there is ecology. Mm -hmm. Congress is hypocrisy. Dekho. Infrastructure, they will talk ecology. In farming, they will stick to the traditional methods, which kills the ecology in the long term. That is the Congress for you. The BJP is mm. saying we are going to create a lot of nudges for our farmers. Let them diversify, let them earn more. Today, if someone has left a farm and left a farm, 
एपीएमसी के धक्के खाने के बाद अगर अपना कुछ बड़ा करना चाहता है टेक्नोलॉजी ओरिएंटेड करना चाहता है एफपीओ में वर्टिकल फार्मिंग लाना चाहता है फायदा तो किसान को ही है ना सरकार को तो टैक्स मिलना नहीं है किसान से यप आई एग्री विच इज वाई आई अप्रीशियटेड दिस बेट Uh, all right, expanding irrigation. These are standard things. Krishi satellite, mm-hmm. uh, network grain storage facilities in rural areas. Again, yeah, digital public infrastructure in agriculture. Uh, uh, they will hire more people in custom hiring centers for agriculture. Krishi vigyan, uh, samriddhi. Ah, uh, this was another good thing. Ensuring high yielding seeds. I think this is a good thing. Ah, uh, yeah. this this is really needed. Ah, uh, so. like i said the difference is how specific and pointed the bjp manifesto is we have shown you the entire congress manifesto and look at how specific like bjp talks about the most mun- like the micro bjp is looking at the micro and congress was just into generalities bjp is so micro in its manifesto which is something i have really you know, appreciated probably a neutral 21 year old observer in a fresh out of uh, fresh in college would say yaar congress ka manifesto is more entertaining because probably plays to the gallery big lofty promises but it's never about the theatrics when it comes to policy it's always about the implementation hmm aap dekho humne aadha manifesto cover kar liya humne ek bar bhi fiscal ki baat nahi kari wahan hum pehle page se aise sar pakad ke baithe hain ki fiscally kaise possible hai yes yes Again, look at the uh, dairy cooperatives getting attention first line yeah the dairy yeah. cooperatives and this is important why because the rural economy is also changing abhi wo monthly per capita expenditure ke numbers aaye the people can look them up household consumables pe ab kharcha badh raha hai 10 saal pehle se logo ka because their expenditure on food and grains is come down people will have a demand for milk and milk products also abhi kitne lower income groups hain gaon mein jo paneer wagera ya butter afford nahi kar pate malai Yeah, you know, good shakes and all those packaged goods they can't afford. Now they will be able to. Mm. There is going to be an uptick in milk demand. Who, who is? Absolutely. No one is thinking in the Congress about what can happen or will happen to the rural economy. So let's focus on this area. Nay, unka agriculture ki agar wo baat karte hain, ten lakh crore de denge, legalize kar denge. Women ki baat karte hain, ek lakh rupee de denge. They have reduced the people of India to a mere currency handout. That is where my problem with the Congress is. Today, they, 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 they are bikharis. These people are their yes. uh, owners. Boy, ye dekho. Today, in their Twitter, there was a post on the evening in the BJP manifesto. They are showing that there is no mention of roti kapda makan. Hey, boss, you go to a village. 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 रोटी कपड़ा मकान नेहरू जी भी करते थे इंदिरा जी भी करती थी राजीव जी ने भी किया मनमोहन सिंह जी ने भी किया अब राहुल गांधी भी वही कर रहे वन योर थिंकिंग हैज नॉट एवल्ड दैट्स प्रिटी क्लियर अक्रॉस द सेवन डेकेज योर थिंकिंग एज ए पार्टी हैज नॉट एवल्ड बट द कंट्री बट द कंट्री अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर यू हैज एवल्ड दे आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरनेट ये टिकटॉकों पे जाके रील बना रहे हैं उनका उनका आई गांव तो वो आई या या गो हेड गो हेड सॉरी अब गांव ना वो लगान के गांव नहीं रहे पीपल नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड सिटिंग इन दिल्ली एंड नोएडा द वुमेन ऑफ विलेजेस आर नॉट योर घूंघट क्लैड वुमेन दे आर स्मार्ट इंडिपेंडेंट सेल्फ थिंकिंग वुमेन हु वांट टू कॉन्कर एट लीस्ट द एंटायर डिस्ट्रिक्ट टू बिगिन विद एंड देन द वर्ल्ड बट आप अभी भी रोटी कपड़ा मकान या रिग्रेसिव रिग्रेसिव व्हाई आई हाइलाइटेड दिस बिट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यार वन वाइनिंग You know why all these different different colors on my highlighting is because ये देखा मैं इसको पूरा select ही कर सकता हूँ ये देख जिसने भी ये PDF बनाई है ना मेरे को torture करने के लिए बनाई थी इसने ये देख रहा है ये separate section है ये separate section है ये separate section है यार मैं मैं party में message करने वाला हूँ मैं party के अंदर message करने वाला हूँ बोलने वाला यार ये PDF तो बराबर बनाओ मेरे को highlight नहीं करने दे रहा था PDF इतना torture हुआ था मैं उसमें but why I said this this is the first hindutva ish signaling point of the bjp protecting indigenous mm-hmm. breeds i'm not saying it's good or bad i'm just stating this is why i have highlighted it i wanted to show it to the hindutva people that the bjp has clearly said that it will make effort to protect indigenous cattle breeds and make efforts to increase their productivity and preserve their genetic diversity so if you are someone who believes in this cause you should be happy because unlike the congress when the bjp says they most likely do these things because the deliverability potential of the bjp is very high 
अभी आप एक और हिपोक्रेसी देखो कांग्रेस बात कर दी अभी किसी ने लाइव चार्ट में डाली है चीज फ्रॉम देयर राहुल गांधी गोस टू बिहार कहता है आपके मखाने दुनिया भर में जाते हैं तो भाई अगर तेरे को पता है कि बिहार के फॉक्स नट्स आर नाउ गेटिंग अटेंशन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आर बीइंग एक्सपोर्टेड फ्रॉम इंडिया व्हाई डू यू वांट टू स्टिक टू द एग्रेसिव एमएसपी रेजिम इनको खुद नहीं पता ये क्या बात कर रहे हैं दे आर जस्ट प्लेइंग टू द गैलरी इनका उद्देश्य पूरे इलेक्शन में इतना है चार रैली में हीरो बन जाओ प्राइम टाइम न्यूज साइकिल में दो स्पोक्स पर्सन आके डिफेंड कर दे एंड दैट्स अबाउट इट they are not thinking of captivating the minds of the voters and that is why the story we began with that rahul gandhi calls up a airline honcho and says tumhare caste ki breakdown kya percentage ki yeah so this was about fishery okay uh, basically they they will expand the pm matsya sampada yojana that is the insurance mm-hmm. for fisheries fine i mean uh, this is standard i didn't find anything like yeah. out of this world this is standard stuff like seaweed farming pearl farming Uh, all the things that they've mentioned uh, i mean they've mentioned it previously they're just continuing in the fisheries there is nothing that stands out in the cattle bit there was something that did sh- stand the, out the base, all this agriculture wala chapter na fpos mm. hai jo now we have i think mm. over 7600 registered and functional fpos and fpos are very interesting mm. if i were to give some numbers okay which i mm. uh, separately had now when people think of farmers in india ek to aapko convince kar diya gaya ki farmer garib hai लाचार है एंड एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ फार्मर्स इन इंडिया सिंपल सा लॉजिक लगाओ अगर आप रेस्टोरेंट में अकेले खाने जाते हो आपका बिल ज्यादा आता है पर कैपिटा पर अगर आप पांच लोगों के साथ जाते हो वही बिल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो जाता है टू एक्सप्लेन इट इन द सिंपलेस्ट ऑफ वही चीज एफपीओ के साथ है आपकी इनकम बढ़ जाती है नबार्ड स्टडी सेट इट इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम फोर थाउजेंड टू एनी वे अराउंड थर्टी थाउजेंड इन एप्सोल्यूट टर्म्स विच इज फोर्टीन टू सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड अपटेक ऑन देर इनकम एंड इट है बात तो अर्ली टू थाउजेंड में होनी शुरू हो गई थी बट बीजेपी रेली टुक इट ऑफ इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दैट लेट्स हेल्प आ फार्मर्स अब आप वही एम एस पी एम एस पी आपको इतना दिमाग में वो डाल दिया पर आप देखो अगर बीस फार्मर भी मिल जाए इमेजिन दे बार्गेनिंग फार्म and this mm-hmm. happens jammu ki baat karu lavender ke sath hi ho raha hai kashmir ki baat karu uh, aapke uh, kesar ke sath ye hota hai akhrot ke sath ye hota hai seb ke sath ye hota hai i remember going to kashmir in 21 i think this was a year after 370 had been abrogated and the kashmir chambers of commerce and industry had some representatives meeting me and they said we wish rinagar gets a dry port which is already in the works so that we can export to the world and we mm-hmm. have fpos doing that नॉर्थ ईस्ट में राहुल गांधी जी गए मैं मम्मी के लिए पाइन ले जा रहा हूँ वेरी थॉटफुल वेरी गुड भाई वो पाइन जो मिडल ईस्ट में अब एक्सपोर्ट होने लगे एफ पी ओस कर्नाटका की कॉफी जहां तेरी सरकार है एफ पी ओस फॉक्सनट्स इन बिहार एफ पी ओस महाराष्ट्र योर फ्रेंड्स इन एन सी पी रनिंग एफ पी ओस जस्ट गो एंड लर्न एटलीस्ट फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड्स इफ नॉट फ्रॉम योर पॉलिटिकल राइवल्स यार मतलब अभी आई डोंट नो हाउ टू से दिस यू सच हाई एक्सपेक्टेशंस यू हैव फ्रॉम मिस्टर गांधी आई मीन चीटिंग करता है एटलीस्ट समवन इन दिस पार्टी कैन लर्न द वन हु सिंग द एंटायर नेशन वांट्स मी टू कॉन्टेस्ट या सो आई मीन अगेन इन दिस श्रमिक बिट ओके सोशल सिक्योरिटी थ्रू पोस्ट ऑफिसेस एंड डिजिटल इंडिया आई इट्स गुड दैट दे आर गोना कंटिन्यू दिस बिकॉज़ अगेन uh postal networks in india still are very relevant and i think it's a good thing they're continuing eventually i think we should get out of it but as of now it's good these two stood out to me special train services for migrant workers boss this, if they create this i think this will be a good economic facility because migrant workers ki traveling ki agar ease karti hai government it has it will add to the economic benefits of multiple states in india because bhaiya kam se kam 10 state ke worker char states se aate hain to basically aur ye dekho maine kahin nahi likha free we are running special train services people have to yeah. pay still paise deke kahin par ye ab aapne bhi jaise factory chalai ye kahin par hota hai ki the person employing them says okay as a you know you can i can sponsor your travel back home because it's not very significant expenditure for me but it might be for you aise bhi bahut enterprise ke log hote hain but dekho freebies ki baat nahi ho rahi hai aap pure manifesto mein dekho freebie aap batao 
वो स्टार्टिंग के पेज पे गरीब कल्याण अन्य योजना के अलावा कहाँ आया फ्री 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 नहीं वो भी हमने आपको पूरा एक्सप्लेन किया कि देर इज अरप्लस और क्यों है और 2010 में सुप्रीम कोर्ट का स्टैंड किया था अब स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स की बात करो आप कोविड के बाद यू नो वट वॉज द मोस्ट हार्ट ब्रेकिंग थिंग फॉर मी दे वर सर्टन जॉइंट्स आई यूज टू गो टू सर्टन स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स दे वैनिश दे नेवर केम बैक आई डोंट नो वॉट हैपन टू देम टिल डेट इन चंडीगढ़ ऑल्सो इन नोएडा ऑल्सो इन डेली ऑल्सो आई नहीं कभी वापस अब पता नहीं क्या कहानी है बट इवन दो पीपल नीड क्रेडिट और उनका क्रेडिट क्या होता है उनका क्रेडिट हफ्ते के हिसाब से चलता है दैट डे से गिव अस अ लोन फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड और फाइव थाउजेंड विल रीपे यू नेक्स्ट वीक हफ्ते का क्रेडिट साइकिल चलता है वहां पर आपका अकाउंट एग्रीगेटर फ्रेमवर्क ये सब काम में आने लग जाते हैं डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को आइसोलेशन में मत सोचिए इस पेज के एक एक अक्षर का इम्प्लीमेंट होना है जो या आज तक जो हुआ है उसमें जो डीपीआई दो हजार चौदह से शुरू हुआ उसका पूरा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ इट so the swanidhi now some a street vendor who selling pani puri being able to access rupees 5000 as a weekly loan he repays improves his civil or his eligibility 10000 15000 20000 do you understand what the kind of credit history we are building for a nation of 1.4 billion people over the period yeah. of next 5 years how much we've already built in the next, last 5 years which is why Hard i had numbers. highlighted this which is why i had highlighted this when i went through the manifesto i think this was a fantastic thing and this including auto taxi truck and other drivers in all social security schemes on the e shram portal and ensure 100% coverage for all drivers under insurance and other welfare programs boss brilliant tara singh supremacy madam ji can be now <laughs> happy that tara singh is getting all the facilities but yeah look Rahul Gandhi did a very flamboyant video with truck drivers on the Delhi Ambala Highway. Remember? Mm-hmm. No one remembers, but we'll make them remember it. It was a shoddy effort. Made it to the news cycle for mm-hmm. one evening. One evening. Yeah. उसके बाद आपने state assembly elections देखे चार कांग्रेस ने truck drivers की बात नहीं करी. लोकसभा का चुनाव आ गया कांग्रेस ने truck drivers की बात नहीं करी. Manifesto आ गया truck drivers की कोई बात नहीं करी. तो please. समझिए इस बात को ये 99% चीजें आज जो कर रहे हैं थियाट्रिक्स के लिए कर रहे हैं अगर आप ट्रक ड्राइवर से मिले आपने उनके साथ बैठ के खाना खाया चाय पी आपने उनकी बात सुनी आपके डेवलपमेंट एजेंडा में वो कहा है और यू नो कुशल यू बिन ऑन द डेली चंडीगढ़ हाईवे कितने ढाबाज हैं विच आर नॉट ढाबाज ढाबाज बट देर लाइक प्रॉपर फाइन लाइन प्लेसेज विच है प्लेस डेडिकेटेड फॉर फ्री फूड फ्री गुड फूड फॉर द ड्राइवर्स ठीक है प्राइवेट में भी लोग अपना इंटरप्राइजेस जो है वो करते हैं ये टॉयलेट्स बेसिक फैसिलिटीज फॉर बादिंग शारिंग यू नो एवरीथिंग कितना बेसिक है टू इंक्लूड देम इन द ई श्रम पोर्टल आपके ये राइडर्स हैं जो शहरों में घूमते हैं ब्लिंकेट जेप्टो ब्ला 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 ऑल दीज कंपनीज दे ऑल नीड टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड दे ऑल नीड टू बी एबल टू एक्सेस ऑल्सो एंड गेग इकोनॉमी बढ़ेगी विद ओ एन डी सी एंड एवरीथिंग इट ओनली इंक्रीज सो या yeah so But, i think again which is why i had yeah. highlighted this bit i i found it very interesting okay for msme small and vishwakarmas um, the simplifying of compliance as a laws yaar karoge to main manunga i mean last do time bhi likha tha honestly matlab theek hai labor laws thode simplify hue hain but i think we have a long way to go in this but they say they will reduce compliances for small traders and msmes to enhance their ease of living and ease of doing business we will stay work with state governments and encourage them to simplify state legislations i mean let's see uh, because the problem is again state governments are lackadaisical waha pe bahut problems aati hai and this is cutting across bjp and congress both state governments are rajasthan ne kiya by the way the congress wants to do away with the labor laws in the manifesto so people should also factor that okay so do away and do what then nahi matlab pata nahi kya karenge congress ka ye rehta hai main ye ordinance phad dunga wo 2013 14 ka jo style tha na phadne ke baad hamara idea kya hai objective kya hai tweaks kya hai kuch nahi hai okay they say they will simplify the gst portal hopefully <laughs> it can they make sure the esic portal works at least i mean uh let's see they say they want to increase uh, global toy manufacturing in india that's a good thing again if they can do it i would be more than this happy uh, yeah. anything that the rural you know it's a very simple uh, litmus test 
किसी चीज की भी आप रूरल इंडिया में डिमांड बढ़ती देख रहे हो ना वहां अपॉर्चुनिटी है बच्चे खिलौने खरीदेंगे बच्चे और अच्छा खाना खाएंगे परिवार और हाउस होल्ड कंज्यूमेबल्स खरीदेंगे देर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी देर द गवर्नमेंट इज सिंगल ऑल हेल्प ऑल दिजनेस yeah so here okay this is dedicated to the tribal communities uh, they will make sure to but i like this they want to increase funds to tribal research institutes to you know increase that uh, bit of how their knowledge can be used in a modern way good i appreciate this um and i'm happy that the government uh, has again given a very focused approach to this uh, i mean this was uh, again see look at the difference rahul gandhi says hum caste 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 survey karenge what does the bjp say they will create a district level committee we will establish a district level committee to ensure that welfare schemes reach the lowest level we will ensure adequate representation for sc st obcs in this committee uh it's a huge difference from how the congress wants to do things and how the bjp wants the impact, no, no read the sentence again i i request to viewers and start thinking about the northeastern region jahan humne yeah. vaccines bhi logon ne boats mein ja ja ke pahunchai thi wahan par yeah. aapka district level committee ka hona zaruri ho jata hai with the involvement of the locals har cheez hmm. delhi se bhi nahi ho sakti bottom down approach bhi chahiye hoti hai you have to be realistic imagine people as far as nagaland or manipur or arunachal you need to think hmm. at their uh, doorstep also so nothing but it's okay kushal it's not something that immediately will make it to the news cycles like a breaking news thing but it's so so very important when you look at yeah. it in the larger scheme of things uh this was uh, a point they have written representation mm -hmm. again they have talked about representation in a very different way than the congress did so for the representation of obc sc and st communities in government they say we have 60% current ministers in the union council from obc sc st communities and uh, they will go on working towards that and they want to increase the livelihood again they will be targeting the vishwakarma yojana specifically again to help the sc st obc community they will be like why can't it be targeted to all indians they are targeted to all indians but you have to understand when you break down the prosperity in india sc st communities especially are poorer compared to other communities you may not like those facts but those are facts of india so the government but has to target need... these communities yes. और ये भी सिक्सटी परसेंट लिखना पड़ेगा कि राहुल गांधी को समझ आ जाए वरना आप इनके सारे वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम्स देखो कोई भी वेलफेयर प्रोग्राम द ब्रेक डाउन इज ऑलवेज डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड स्टेट वाइज चाहे बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट हो वहां पर या नॉन बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट हो इट्स ऑलवेज अ ब्रेक डाउन डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड स्टेट वाइज इट्स नेवर कास्ट वाइज इट्स नेवर रिलीजन वाइज इनकी जितनी वेलफेयर स्कीम है आप किसी एक पर भी कास्ट का फिल्टर नहीं लगा सकते कांग्रेस का तो शुरुआत ही कास्ट सेंसस से होती है कि पहले हम कास्ट जन गणना करवाएंगे जाति जन गणना फिर हम वेल्थ रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन करेंगे ये कहते हैं हमने तो सबके लिए ही करना है पीपल कैन काउंटर अस इफ दे वांट टू टेल मी डज अ जल जीवन मिशन सी द कास्ट ऑफ द वुमेन गेटिंग बेनिफिटेड डज इट इवन फाइंड इट रिलेवेंट वो किस लेफ्टिंग पोर्टल में आया था कि बाथरूम्स बनाना इज वेरी रॉन्ग <laughs> we are imposing standards on rural people it was so funny i just had a laugh yeah, in, in, <laughs> in noida media foreign foreign affair journalists say that the government cannot set the temperatures of our air conditioner and cannot differentiate a scam from an official university letter so what to say matlab aap ye dekho toilets ka mazak udaya bank accounts ka mazak udaya digital payments ka mazak udaya aaj yahi teeno cheeze hain which are drivers which are forces which are making the women vote for the bjp again 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 and again 2017 se aap dekho up mein 19 lok sabha 22 after covid women have swung elections in crucial states like uttar pradesh i'll tell you something there was one journalist who had started a new channel just a couple of years ago and we were in western up this was before the up elections and he was so fixated on the outcome of the farmer protest on the election on the polling i asked him simply as like ek bar mahilaon se to baat karo what are they thinking because covid has been equally hard on them also it's not just about the farmers and he sort of like nahi nahi ye wo blah 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 but now journalist 
everyone i meet any reporter going on the ground i just urge them talk to the women especially the female reporters because they can easily approach the women in the villages kya baat karo unse ja ke aap unki ek psychological elevation samjho ki ab ek toilet banne se unko kaisa lagta hai it might not be very fashionable to talk about these things but if you look at the ground these things matter उड़ीसा में मुझे महिलाओं ने बताया था कि पहले हम बारिशों में बाहर जाते थे साइकोलॉजिकल फियर एवरी मॉर्निंग जस्ट बिकॉजेड बी नो वन लाइफ Mm, a certain great personality in the right wing also had said on Twitter that we should not impose bathrooms just like the left did. What? Yeah, अरे मैं तेरे को बाद में बताऊँगा बहुत हँसा था मैं तभी उसको पढ़ के. <laughs> Genius लोग हैं. वो ये लोग देखो left wing और right wing में ना ये left wing post colonial और this is the decolonial right wing का एक offshoot. ऐसी ऐसी विचित्र विचित्र बातें करते हैं लोग बहुत हंसी आई थी मेरे को मगर है बच्चों को ना तीन महीने ना ट्रेन में इंडिया घूमना चाहिए गांव जाके देखो और अभी तो और अच्छा अपॉर्चुनिटी है कि गांव ट्रांसफॉर्म हो रहे हैं मतलब यू विल गेट ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ फैसिलिटीज खाने पीने को सब मिल जाएगा हर हाईवे पे एक मैकडोनल्ड या सब खाओ बट गो एंड अंडरस्टैंड वट वॉज इग्नोर्ड फॉर सिक्सटी ईयर्स you know it it's almost sometimes heartbreaking to think that there are so many women who couldn't see a toilet in their lifetime just because they were born in the 1940s or 50s in the poorer parts of india but tell me is that fair i mm. forget parties forget you know prime ministers who have come and gone who will come forget everything is it fair on a women in rajasthan for instance to walk 2 kilometers in 50 degrees just to fetch water from a well which may or may not be there yeah kya bole abhi aur fir jab koi isko karne ki koshish karta aap mazak uda rahe ho aap mazak kiska uda rahe ho pradhan mantri ka ya un logo ki garibi ka jo aapne 60 saal sustain hone di aur fir aap apne manifesto mein bahut conveniently likhte ho hum un industries ko prioritize karenge jinme zyada job creation hogi bhai aapke hi first prime minister the who was against this notion <laughs> it's not about yeah. congress bashing honestly a building a toilet is no rocket science for any prime minister of the congress it wasn't it wasn't certainly not for, uh, indira gandhi ji ke liye to bilkul nahi thi wo swayam ek mahila thi sonia gandhi ji ke liye bhi bilkul mushkil nahi tha wo nsc mein thi wo khud ek mahila thi unko pata hai ki kya takleefe hai priyanka gandhi thi unke sath ab koshish to karte shuruaat to karte kam se kam apne wo bhi nahi kari and all these leftist junk news pieces they write they mock my problem is not that they disagree with the government my problem is they mock the idea of uplifting people who really need help hmm they are stupid that's all i can say they are truly stupid okay in this uh, this was like uh, vishwa bandhu bharat whatever okay we are committed to seeking a permanent membership in the U- un council i, I think so that's good, good. That's good. Yeah. So, Baki foreign yes. policy is more improvisation. Modi ji launching the manifesto yeah. at eight thirty in the morning. Eight hours before that, everyone is wondering, "Ki bhaiya, World War Three chalu ho raha hai kya?" Yeah. So, uh, I mean, again, I this just stood out. Neighborhood first policy, which was fine, and. Uh, Again, uh, to all diaspora folks, brother. Uh, again, the BJP SL will fortify our connection with the Bharatiya diaspora, actively involving them in Bharat's progress and providing unwavering support during their times of need, thereby enriching our mutual cultural and economic ties. Because I have such a giant diaspora listener base, like I think approximately thirty percent of my listener base is the diaspora. Actually, it's very funny. Like almost thirty percent ke upar are outside India ke listeners, diaspora wale. So, भाई सुन लो बीजेपी आपके साथ भी काम करेगी तो डिजिटल पब्लिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दिस वॉज अ गुड पॉइंट टेकिंग आधार एंड मेनी अदर आई थिंक यूपीआई पूरे अफ्रीका में यूपीआई होगा देखना आधे यूरोप में होगा 
UPS yeah, phenomenal. So, you know, the digital public infrastructure cushion is not restricted to payments alone. ONDC mm-hmm. also doesn't get spoken about a lot. And the Prime Minister mentioned that day in his speech that morning. Open network for digital commerce. This is, you're going to hear about this in the next five years a lot. You've heard a lot about this. Because UPI is going to go to autopilot. Every month, karte karte, we'll get to 30 billion sooner. Probably, hopefully, 50 billion. ONDC is brilliant because it takes away e-commerce from a platform-centric model to a transaction-centric model. So like right now on UPI, Kushal and I can be on different banks, but we can easily transact using different apps. Mm. ONDC is the same. You have a network and you can transact with anyone anywhere in the country. You don't have to worry about a platform and it's already underway. People in Bengaluru, you may have tried that Namma Bengaluru, that's an auto app. Mm. People in Delhi, mm. they can try ordering food via the Paytm ONDC app. Zero commissions, no middlemen. You pay, you get what you are shown on the menu and the rider gets what he gets. So you will be hearing mm. ONDC a lot. And I think that's one creation we should definitely take to the world. Yeah, so that's this is... Uh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm taking a little time here. Congress baat karti hai, we'll deal with monopolies and all that. You know, ne ONDC bana bhi diya. <laughs> mm. Uh, again, uh, taking Ayurveda to the world, fine, yoga and Ayurveda. I don't know about the Ayurveda bit, but yoga, I'm very happy. Uh, bringing back Bharti artifacts again for the Hindutva uh, folks, you should be happy. They will work towards bringing, you know, my friend Anurag Saxena, who has dedicated his life to bringing our gods back home. So Anurag, tu khush yoga. Um, and uh, encouraging classic language research is something I'm really happy about as a nerd myself who reads a lot. So this is good. Um, I was really happy. Again, uh, preserving and promoting the legacy of Lord Ram. Basically, again, a giant tourism perspective also is here. Uh, uh, I think this was there. I mean, this was uh, Surakshit Bharat. Okay, this was more national security, zero tolerance towards terrorism. I think nobody needs to be having any doubt about Modi ji in that. Dude, developing the infrastructure end up in Pakistan and we say it's a mistake galti se mistake yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah so i, I mean, mean, think you know, defense, this government's record is impeccable yeah i mean we don't even need to tell anyone improving uh i i i, I i've highlighted these two things and i'll explain why eliminating left wing terrorism is very important because again people i think people in india don't know the data reality that in India, there are more left-wing terrorism incidents than Islamism terrorism incidents. So that is why BJP has mentioned this specifically and not Islamism related because people don't realize the magnitude of left-wing terrorism in India. Like They don't understand how big left-wing terrorism is in India. It's the biggest scary factor. And now I will say why I highlighted implementation of CAA. I am glad that means what does this mean? Because CAA to jo karna tha wo kar chuke hai. Iska hmm. malab CAA naya wala ane wala hai which will be more expensive. Main isse baut khush hoon. Aur dousra they have not linked the CAA to NRC. Main usse doubly khush hoon. NRC mentioned hi nahi hai. Unho ne sirup bola hai hum CAA laenge. Ek already done cheez agar mentioned hai manifesto mein to mitro CAA expand ho raha hai. I am the happiest man. That's what I understood. Oh. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this was the one thing that made me the happiest. Sabse mm-hmm. jada mujhe khushi hui. Kyunki dekho, implementation to jo hai, agar log isko expand karenge, to main I hope they do. Mm-hmm. I they think should, it, right? it's, it's our moral responsibility as uh, the, the, are the, a the elder brother of the, yeah, of a Hindu yeah. civilization. It's our moral responsibility to take care of the subcontinent and we should take care of all the minorities. Okay, one, sab, one, one, uh, second, one second, one second, one second. Safeguarding yes. Bharat's digital sovereignty. Another one mm. of Modi's forgotten success stories is banning Huawei from India's 5G trials. People mm. do people forget how insignificant, uh, uh, how significant Huawei is in the global 5G ecosystem. The president himself was here to negotiate probably before the 5G trials began, India did not budge. 5G mein Huawei nahi hai. Aap jo pura UPI dekhte ho, MasterCard visa ne uske against complaints raise kari hui hai. And I'll tell you this, and I've heard from very, very reliable sources, there are monopolies, Western monopolies, which want ONDC to fail. 
like there were western monopolies which wanted upi to fail but it did not mm. so digital sovereignty khud mein ek alag hi podcast discussion ka subject tha because data localization aa jata hai wo mm. karenge but remember it was modi who stood up to the chinese and said no huawei in india's 5g compare it with what congress was doing in 2008 during the beijing olympics yep comparison zaruri hai na kya kare <laughs> so this was there the rest i mean let's see uh making india the third largest economy i uh, don't don't judge me for the weird marking over here because uh, that blame the bjp their pdf sucks उसको पूरा कर ही नहीं सकते करते तो ऐसे होता है सो इट इज वॉट इट इज एंड ओके फाइन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू मेक इंडिया द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स हे नो बडीज कंप्लेनिंग रॉयटर्स का एक आर्टिकल था कुछ टाइम पहले कि मोदी और नो मोदी इंडिया वुड हैव ग्रोन एंड इंडिया वुड हैव बिकम द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी आई जस्ट वॉन्ट पीपल टू सॉर्ट ऑफ दिस कैन बी एन इंट्रोस्पेक्टिंग एक्सरसाइज compare the congress manifesto compare the bjp manifesto now ask yourself if the congress was there at the helm of affairs with their mindset and their policies where their leader is going around asking private airline owners caste breakdown kya do you think we would have this scale of infrastructure beat physical barbad ho jayega desh barbad ho jayega covid mein covid mein covid mein, COVID mein ek interesting cheez thi raghuram rajan was advocating cash drops jaise wo america mein trump ne kare This government stuck to the emergency credit guarantee line scheme for MSMEs. Not very fashionable, but very effective. So effective that an SBI report says it saved around 1.46 million MSMEs, saved rupees two trillion worth of loans from becoming NPAs, and further helped in the safeguarding of 16 million jobs. अब ये चीजें fashionable नहीं होती. Cash drop का क्या पाए? दे दिया पैसा, transfer मार दिया. You. work actually on the ground to save msmes or i think by last year it was just continued the government had dispatch i don't know a lot of money 3 lakh crore to i'll have to check the exact figure but they had dispatched a lot of money under that program hmm yeah so this bit revamping commercial and tax 4.5 lakh crore yeah sorry yeah so this one was good if they do revamp the commercial and tax legislation trust me doing business in india is still a nightmare and if the uh, the bjp says they're going to work towards it oh good i appreciate it global manufacturing hub again okay fine this this is a generics i didn't want to look at generics um food processing again is a very generic air thing okay they'll work towards promoting defense manufacturing which is good and again Well, look at the numbers under Rajnath Singh. He's been a fantastic minister. I would go and encourage people to go and check the numbers Congress out. Congress's Congress's manufacturing policy will give priority to industries that create large volume of jobs. Inka hume railway bhi India mein chahiye, ship bhi chahiye. Sab banayega re tera fajal. मतलब aim to karo. ठीक है, we might miss, but at least aim. तुमने क्या कह दिया? We'll have a sweatshop policy, culture and manufacturing. Is that hmm. cool? No? Yeah. फार्मेसी की स्टोरी सबको पता है ना कोविड के टाइम की दैट वी वर एट द ग्रुप ऑफ रनिंग आउट ऑफ सारे डॉन्स बिकॉज़ वी हैड स्टॉप मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एपीआईज व्हिच वाज एक्टिव फार्मास्यूटिकल इंग्रेडिएंट्स व्हिच गोइंग टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ ऑल योर मेडिसिंस एंड डोवल हैड पॉइंटेड दिस आउट अ फ्यू इयर्स बिफोर कोविड एंड नाउ पीएलआई आया फार्मा सेक्टर के लिए भी आया एंड वी आर बैक टू फिक्सिंग इट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एप्पल 14% ऑफ देयर प्रोडक्ट नाउ बीइंग मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन दे लुकिंग एट 25% द चाइना प्लस 1 वर्क्स क्योंकि जब ये बात शुरू हुई थी अरे एप्पल इंडिया में क्यों आके बनाएगा बड़े बड़े लोगों ने ना फिगर्स कोट करने शुरू कर दिए थे एप्पल इज जस्ट वन परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्मार्टफोन मार्केट देर इज नो यूटिलिटी फॉर देम लेबर इज नॉट चीप ब्लाबला पीपल हैड ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ यू नो एक तो एजम्पन इतने सॉलिड मारते हैं ना लेफ्ट वाले टूडे एप्पल इज सेंग वील बिल्ड वन फोर्थ ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट लाइन इन इंडिया दे आर एक्सपैंडिंग इन इंडिया एंड इफ एप्पल इज कमिंग टू इंडिया रेस्ट शोर्ड एनी अदर कंपनी विल या एनी अदर विल and they it's it's a natural thing people i don't know why people think it's uh, if we can have a conducive atmosphere for apple tell me which company won't come in yeah yeah tesla are abhi to okay this is good again two things if they are focusing on semiconductor and chip manufacturing and automobile and ev manufacturing i think it's a good thing uh, the one thing i don't buy is they will make bharat a global leader in textile manufacturing 20 saal ka experience hai nahi hoga <laughs> 
अगर हम आज सौ रुपए की एक आइटम बना देंगे लोग उसके लिए सौ रुपए देंगे क्योंकि चाइनीज वही चीज साठ की बेच रहे तो इट्स अ वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस वी हैव टू सॉर्ट ऑफ कीप वर्किंग ऑन दैट फ्रंट बट यार हम बांग्लादेश से भी कंप्लीट नहीं कर कंप्लीट नहीं कर पाता चीन तो बहुत दूर की बात है अभी मतलब मैं देख मैं जो खुला बोल रहा हूँ जो बोल रहा हूँ बोल रहा यू आर द वन हुज रन दिस बिजनेस देखो हम जो करेंगे आई स्टिल फील इफ दे डू इट आई बी हैप्पी बिकॉज देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ जॉब्स दैट टेक्सटाइल कैन क्रिएट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मंडे इन जॉब्स विच रिक्वायर्स सेमी स्किल्ड एंड लो स्किल्ड वर्कर्स आई आई स्टिल I mean that's been my biggest pet peeve against this okay. government to be very honest in the yes, last time there is going to be an uptick in demand in eight amongst 800 million people in the villages manufacture for them na har kisi ko louis vuitton thodi banna hai agar domestic dekh hamari aaj tak hamari textile industry ko bacha bhi domestic hi raha hai to agar hum log khud internally rich hoenge na aur hamari demand badhti jayegi to hamara textile sector bacha rahega jayega kidhar nahi magar abhi yaar bahut sara fabric hai na abhi बांग्लादेश से आता है क्योंकि यार सस्ता पड़ता है वो हम लोग बेसिकली महंगे हैं सस्ता पड़ता है यार तो चाइना से ज्यादा अभी बांग्लादेश से फैब्रिक आता है अभी वो इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू सॉल्व मेरा काम था ऑनेस्ट आंसर देना क्योंकि मुझे मेरी लाइफ निकली है इसमें तो मैं बता सकता हूँ ओके अगेन वर्ल्ड क्लास इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंक्रीजिंग टिकट दिस वॉज अ गुड थिंग दे वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज पैसेंजर कैरियंग कपैसिटी बाई टू थाउजेंड थर्टी भाई बहुत जरूरी है कभी टिकट नहीं मिलती मेरे को ट्रेन की मतलब मर जाए आदमी तो यार टिकट ही नहीं मिलती ट्रेन की ट्रेवल कैसे करे आदमी सेटिंग लगाओ सेटिंग लगाओ ओके दिस वॉज इंटरेस्टिंग वन दे स्लीपर ट्रेन अभी तक नहीं था बिकॉज वंदे भारत इज सो एफिशियंट आई वुड ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड टू रन एट नाइट तो आपको स्लीपर ट्रेन तो चाहिए ही होंगे ना जैसे अभी जम्मू की जो ट्रेन जाती है कटरा टू गिव वन एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम डेली इट स्टार्ट एट सिक्स इन द मॉर्निंग आई वुड ऑल्सो वॉन्ट वन दैट स्टार्ट एट टेन इन द नाइट सो मे बी दैट्स वाइट राजधानी शताब्दी को भी तो रिप्लेस करेंगे ना इवेंचुअली धीरे धीरे मेट्रो एक्सपैंड कर रहे हैं बुलेट ट्रेन को एक्सपैंड कर रहे हैं Again, good things. I, I know ध्रुव राठी वीडियो बनाएगा क्या हमें बुलेट ट्रेन की आवश्यकता है दोस्तों भाई तो मत बैठी हो हाँ नहीं बैठना नहीं। उसको उसको बोलना बाहर है ना तू वो ट्रैप पटरी के बाहर तू वही टट्टी करता रहना तू उसी के लायक है Just ask people to name the new infrastructure projects in their vicinity of 50 kilometers. अगर मैं यहाँ बैठा हूँ, मेरे 50 किलोमीटर के रेडियस में क्या 10 साल नए इंफ्रा प्रोजेक्ट बने? मुझे नहीं लगता इस देश में कोई भी होगा जो कहेगा कि मेरे 50 किलोमीटर के दायरे में कोई नया इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट नहीं आया. Absolutely. मतलब अगर मैं अपना ही देखता हूँ यहाँ पर ईस्टर्न पेरिफेरल, वेस्टर्न पेरिफेरल, अभी वो टनल बन रहा ह� I can talk about metro, RRTS, Delhi Merit Expressway. I mean, so many Jewar Airport. मतलब अपने सब अपने 50 किलोमीटर के रेडियस में ही देख लो यार. तुम छोड़ो दिल्ली, बंबई या कहाँ क्या बन रहा है. तुम अपना रेडियस देखो. DFCs are going right near where I am. So, yeah. Just this is a nice litmus test for people to do themselves and then ask, would I would I want money to be spent like this or just on doles? Yeah, and okay. Obviously, this is like this will be the anti-Dhruvrati segment. They are expanding expressways and ring roads and gram sadak yojana bada rahe hain, road safety bada rahe. Obviously, Dhruvrati hates all of this. Uh, promoting EVs, ठीक है. पता नहीं Dhruvrati का उसमें क्या opinion होगा. Aviation, fine. Developing airports, uh, modernization, expansion of international airports. These are standard bits. That's why I did not like. Uh, these are okay, fine. ये सब ठीक है. मतलब डू यू रियलाइज हाउ कैजुअल यू आर बीइंग राइट नाउ अरे हाईवे हाई तो बनते ही रहते हैं अभी कल कोई नया हाईवे आ जाएगा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट्स सच अ मतलब हां नया प्रोजेक्ट हां बनेगा ही कंप्लीट भी होगा क्या बड़ी बात है लाइक इमेजिन हाउ क्विकली वी गॉट ओवर द इनोग्रेशन ऑफ एमटीएचएल बिकॉज़ देयर वाज अ टनल रोड दैट हैपेंड एंड देन देयर इज समथिंग एल्स कमिंग अप बट ऑनेस्टली तुषार दैट्स हाउ इट शुड बी दीस थिंग्स अ गुड गवर्नमेंट शुड बी डूइंग दिस व्हिच इज व्हाई वी शुड बी लाइक ए नॉनशलेंट ये तो करेगा ही मतलब इतना बेसलाइन तो करेगा ही ओके दे आर गोइंग टू एक्सपैंड द पीएम सूर्य घर मुफ्त बिजली योजना थ्रू इलेक्ट्रिक स्टोव्स फैन एसी ये ऑलरेडी हो चुका है 
one good thing again at least they have mentioned they are expanding nuclear power because if you really care about climate change i'm sorry i know mr modi loves solar power the prime minister loves solar power boss only nuclear can help us as far as climate change is concerned i'm glad the bjp has clearly and categorically mentioned they will expand the nuclear energy component of bharat's energy mix through a focus on developing small modular reactors as well as increase investment in nuclear energy production i am glad they have because congress ne to kuch mention hi nahi kiya tha isme congress ko to lagta hai kuch hai hi nahi energy mention kya tha ye to energy independence ki baat kar rahe hai bhai 2047 they want to cut down the uh, fuel bill that's that's very progressive congress ka energy pe kuch tha nothing i can think of no mere ko to kuch yaad nahi hai honestly mere ko yaad nahi and i'm not being facetious uh okay smart grid is not for ecology i don't know how they'll do it probably by organizing seminars where everyone will turn up in suvs <laughs> with 10 air conditioners on so uh, okay this was about ease of living in cities the good thing is they are going to expand the pipe natural gas connections uh, to everywhere it's a good thing uh we have it in our city it's wonderful takes away the yeah. cylinder black marketing problem yeah. also which anyway yeah. has been dealt to a large extent by ujwala but ab dekho yeah. na aapke ye abhi 1 crore par hai pipe natural gas i think more and more urban homes are getting connected eventually it will come for rural india as well at some point yeah they have to they have to by 2030 they have to connect the entire so cylinder is not sustainable so cylinders are a, not they are not they are not they should not be and uh, congress will be like fir unke jobs ka kya karoge congress pakka iske bare mein bolegi dekhna to inhone 2014 ki wo main kahani to sunata rehta hu ki january 2014 mein do teen mahine bache the inki sarkar ke inhone pilot project shuru kiya lpg dpt subsidy ka theek hai bank penetration to tha nahi to pehla problem to wahi aaya dusra the discontinued around 30th jan 2014 because they feared electoral backlash कि लोग कहेंगे हमें कम सिलेंडर क्यों दिए और इन्होंने डिसकंटिन्यू कर दी और वहीं द प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू कोवर ही सेज आई टेल द मिडिल क्लास गिव अप योर एलपीजी सब्सिडी एंड 1.25 करोड़ पीपल एक्चुअली गिव इट अप आल्सो दैट्स अ क्रेडिबिलिटी ऑफ द मैन एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली क्रेडिबिलिटी का इतना फर्क है यही है ये जो कांग्रेस uh, की डीबीटी हमने शुरू किया देखो जनवरी 2014 में क्या हो रहा था भाई ये जो इन्होंने क्लेम किया है ओपन लैंडफिल फ्री सिटीज भाई अगर ये करेंगे तो बहुत अच्छी बात है मगर मैं आई विल बिलीव आई विल बिलीव इट व्हेन इट हैपेंस भाई ये तो ऐसा क्लेम है मतलब मेरे को तो सदमा ही लग गया कि ये कर देंगे गडकरी इज ऑलरेडी यूजिंग वेस्ट ना टू बिल्ड रोड्स ही इज ही इज बीइंग टॉकिंग अबाउट इट वेस्ट फ्रॉम दिल्ली लैंडफिल देयर इज अ रिपोर्ट ये देखो आपको भेजता हूं आप ये लगा सकते हो मतलब ये हवाई बातें नहीं है बॉस अखबार पढ़ो सब कुछ ना कुछ किसी ना किसी तरीके से चल रहा है हम्म अगर करेंगे तो बढ़िया है देखो मतलब आई डोंट वांट टू बी अ पार्टी पूपर बट या सो दिस वाज मनी कंट्रोल वेस्ट फ्रॉम दिल्ली लैंडफिल टू बी यूज्ड फॉर रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन सेज नितिन गडकरी अभी गडकरी साहब का एक है मतलब मैं गडकरी साहब को इतने साल से फॉलो कर रहा हूं अगर गडकरी जी ने बोला है तो इट विल हैपन बिकॉज़ गडकरी जी इज लाइक मैं बोला तो करेगा खत्म हो गया बात कोई नो इफ नो बट गडकरी साहब का काम करने का तरीका है ऐसा इतने साल से देखा है सो इफ ही सेइंग इट विल हैपन ओके द रेस्ट वाज नथिंग आई मीन दिस वाज ऑल स्टैंडर्ड कंटिन्यू द प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ भारतीय मैनुस्क्रिप्ट्स ओके ऑल द कल्चरल पीपल भाई खुश हो जाओ होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अयोध्या एंड एपिग्राफ्स एंड मैनुस्क्रिप्ट्स को मेंटेन करना एंड बॉस ये प्राइवेटाइज नहीं हो सकता इसमें सरकार को घुसाना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि इंसेंटिव नहीं होता है और सरकार को इंसेंटिव की जरूरत नहीं होती उनको करना ही करना होता है so um ip protection ye log bol rahe hain cultural ip protection is another good thing that i think they should because ye log saale hamari ancient cheezon ko chura chura ke bahut sare gore ding dong karte hain which is not good to uh, okay wed in india yaar matlab i know modi ji's intent magar uh, let's see how many people take it up modi ji ki kitni popularity hai is will be really tested ki agar modi ji bolenge shaadi india mein karni hai destination wedding Change karo. Let's see how many people buy this. I don't know. Maybe people will. I don't link know. It, link it with their opportunities in Uttarakhand, Himachal. Karo. Expressway, highway, rail networks. So, bani rahe. Jao, yar. Shadi karo. See, any day, the most ex- extravagant wedding in India will cost you far less than the most extravagant wedding in abroad, Europe or wherever. Ah, Thailand, Thailand. Me, shad sasti ho jaye, bhai. Ma shadi 
के लिए कौन जाता है मुझे नहीं पता शादी के बाद बहुत लोग जाते हैं ऐसा मैंने सुना है <laughs> मतलब साउथ ईस्ट एशिया में कुछ स्पॉट्स बहुत चीप हैं आई विल नॉट लाइक फुकेट और ये सब सो आई एम ग्लैड इफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वांट्स दैट मींस सस्ते होटल मिलेंगे भाई आज की डेट में फाइव स्टार इंडिया में रहना ना बहुत महंगा है भाई साहब बहुत महंगा है फाइव स्टार इंडिया में टूरिज्म पे बट वी वी शुड प्रोबली गेट थ्रू बिकॉज़ देयर टू बिग प्रॉमिसेस दैट दे वी नीड टू डिस्कस वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन और यूसीसी या अभी इसके लिए तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ मैं फटाफट फटाफट आगे जा रहा हूँ इसके लिए कि ओके यूसीसी देखो आपने बोला यूसीसी यू सी सी आएगा देख भाई ये तो मेरे को लगता है कि ये तो मोदी जी अगर जीत गए ना तो पहले दो साल में ही आ जाएगा ये कंपेयर दिस विद द कांग्रेस हम माइनॉरिटीज को उनके पर्सनल लॉस फॉलो करने देंगे हम लाइन भी नहीं ड्रॉ करेंगे सो समेर सम ग्रुप से वेरी रिग्रेसिव लॉ दे विल बी अलाउड दिस गवर्नमेंट इज सेंग और दिस पार्टी से हम तो यूसीसी लाएंगे क्योंकि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मेकर्स इन विजन डिट लाइक दिस अब कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मेकर्स में वो लोग भी थे जो मेजोरिटी कांग्रेस ही थे यू नो ये आई थिंक इट वॉज इन द कॉम्युनिस्ट मैनिफेस्टो द सी पी आई मैनिफेस्टो विच सेट वील गिव अप द न्यूक्लियर वेपन एंड अ कांग्रेस स्पोक्स पर्सन वॉज आज टू कॉमेंट ऑन इट इन अ डिबेट एंड ही सेट हमने पोखरान करवाया नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर में कहा भाई तुम नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर की कांग्रेस अगर तुम्हें आज आके देख लेना खुद ही डिसऑन कर देगी <laughs> तो ये 50s और 60s की जो कांग्रेस थी इट बिलीव इन दिस जेन्युनली दे वांटेड अ कूलिंग ऑफ पीरियड बट यूसीसी आई थिंक इज एन इनेविटेबिलिटी इट विल हैपन या मेरे हिसाब से तो पहले दो साल में ही हो जाएगा ओके uh, okay, बाकी बाकी सब ठीक था वन नेशन वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन ऑनेस्टली आई एम नॉट अ फैन ऑफ दैट बट लेट्स सी What happened? No, I think we are talking about at least one nation, two elections. In the sense, you have an election say in twenty four like, right now. I think the second grouping has to be somewhere around twenty six December or twenty seven January. जो वो U P वाला सारा होता है. तो उसी में आपको West Bengal घुसाना पड़ेगा. आपका Maharashtra और Jharkhand, for example, या Haryana पीछे हो जाएंगे. They will have to be pre-poned and states like Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, which went to polls four months ago, they will have to be postponed. तो ऐसे मिक्स एंड मैच करके आई थिंक वन नेशन टू इलेक्शन तो डूएबल है बट देन मेरा एक पॉइंट है इसमें इफ वी आर गोइंग दैट पाथ आई वुड से वी शुड हैव अ 6 ईयर आई मीन दिस इज जस्ट मी सेइंग दिस इज नॉट एनीवन एल्स सेइंग दिस इज जस्ट लाउड थिंकिंग कि अगर आप 2.5 ढाई साल का गैप रख रहे हो दो बड़े इलेक्शंस में आई वुड से 3 साल का तो रखो तो अगर 6 साल का एक लोकसभा टेन्योर हो सकता है अगर ऐसे कुछ मानना चाहें लोग you know this if in an alternate universe i was asked i would suggest this but of course this is just my idea random thoughts and the british have a six year old period a six year period for their government so mm. common electoral roll ka matlab basically wohi hai ki abhi wo jo overlaps hote hai na naam dono state mein wo sab elimination ho jayegi to aap jidhar ho wahi vote karo kind of a situation mm. basically wo hai common imagine, electoral imagine the kind of governance time we'll have because mm. agar koi 6 mahine bhi campaign ko de अब ढाई साल तो काम करोगे दो साल तो काम करोगे या ओके द वन थिंग इज मॉडर्नाइजिंग पुलिस फोर्सेस इज गुड आई होप दे डू इट द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स रियली नीड टू टेक अप यस या आई मीन अल्टरनेट डिस्प्यूट रिजोल्यूशन फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट्स लेट्स सी एयर कोर्ट्स के साथ ऐसा होता है ना गवर्नमेंट कुछ भी करती है फिर कोर्ट बोलती है मुझे नहीं अच्छा लगा एंड आई मीन आई एम नॉट ब्लेमिंग द गवर्नमेंट फॉर दैट आई एम जस्ट स्टेटिंग so okay strengthening aims medical education pm bheem jan aushadhi kendras bol rahe hain ki aur expand karenge good i think that's no, a web no, no, no. yeah and accelerating vaccine production and distribution that is also a good thing uh by the way difference in the indian right wing and the american right wing indian right wing believes in vaccines american right wing does not <laughs> uh just for the record uh, for people who say india would be anti vax or this they're going to increase the institutes of higher learning okay this was all pretty standard uh one nation one student id is good if i just uh, create one nation uh, one student id is very progressive in the sense if we eventually will have to move to digital education model yeah wahan par ye cheez bahut kaam aa sakti hai so people especially uh, kids uh, who have parents in the military and they are you know affected by frequent transfers or bank jobs i think it sh- we should start thinking that people should have that liberty where they can change their schools midway because syllabus more or less is standardized so mm-hmm. ye digital ek id ek bacche ke education se you know it, what, what it can help in let's say i'm fresh out of college or i'm a dropout in after class 
can my education credentials double up as my eligibility criteria for accessing a small quantum of a mudra loan for a startup think about mm. it ki kitna regular raha hai kaise grades rahe hain kya karna chahta hai projects kya hai because aap ek bacche ki ek education ko lekar kaisi approach rahi hai usse bahut kuch detect kar sakte ho at least to some extent about what the future might hold for them mm. yeah so the the prime minister had said they want to host the olympics in 2036 another thing i appreciated was providing a comprehensive plan for retired sports persons yeah. i think it's good people don't realize ki so you at sabko virat kohli rohit sharma dikhta hai yaar bahut sare sports mein hote hain cricketers die broke so many times now no yeah. longer because the bc has changed that but yeah ye to cricketers bhi kitne broke gaye to imagine the condition for other sportsmen yeah. 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 iske liye so it's good they're they're doing that for sport was uh, something i appreciated uh, okay peace in the northeast uh managing floods uh, master plan for purvodaya holistic development of islands this is your destination wedding ka answer basically i highlighted this was we all saw what happened with the lakshwadeep controversy yeah. so this is basically yeah, islands develop hoenge destination wedding sort out ho gaya dekh bhai yahi hone wala hai pehle question hai. raise karte hain aur fir answer de dete hain कितनी चीजें तो सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी हैं इस मैनिफेस्टो में नथिंग टू एम्बिग्विटी रिमेंबर हाउ वी वर कंफ्यूज बाय द एम्बिग्विटी इन द कांग्रेस मैनिफेस्टो दिस मैनिफेस्टो हैज नो सच प्रॉब्लम एंड पीपल कैन पॉइंट आउट एनीवेयर जहां आपको एम्बिग्विटी दिख रही है बताओ या या सो ओके दिस इज टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन इसमें ऑनेस्टली ए आई थिंक दे आई मीन एआई में क्या करेंगे लेट्स सी they say they have a one they are going to set up a anusandha anusha sandhan fund with an investment of 1 lakh crore to provide loans to promote scientific research honestly i think it's nothing it should be more but i understand hamari capacity but as a, a nation of, a lot of role will the will be played by the private sector too so i think yeah i i believe the private sector will be roped in and wahi hoga i think that is going to be uh, uh, non fossil fuel capacity badhana hai that's a good thing i think uh, for us to have a future as a economy and from our national security perspective uh, and the government has said that they will have net zero emissions by 2070 well bravo to that and uh, by improving air quality agar kar do to bhai main pair dho dunga aapke kyunki delhi mumbai mein air quality to bahut hi bakwas hai air quality uh, is directly linked to crop diversification also so yeah we okay. were there are linkages yeah so okay th- this is all promoting recycling and all that this is all standard stuff and that ends the the entire bjp manifesto we we actually freaking unbelievable we went through the whole damn document now i'll ask you questions pata pat uh, mm-hmm. so somebody has said see a subsidy for senior citizens shouldn't have been taken away senior citizens don't get rehired often neither many get pension so subsidy in travel would have gone a long way in supporting uh, them and kaun si subsidy senior citizens ki nikali gayi hai or travel wali i think he means the 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 religious trips the tirth yatras jo keh rahe to probably it could be a part of the policy document we don't know that yet जीबी ऑफ डेटा Hmm. why are we still caught up in this public versus private debate we need to start thinking on the lines of a digital education model where there is a creation of multilingual resources in standardized form for children to consume anywhere they want to they want to consume it in school in their homes and an open examination system jaise ignu ka hota hai jao paper do bharo kyunki bhaiya mano na mano aapka future jo hai it's directly linked to your skill that you develop or you are naturally gifted with ye degree wagera ke din chale gaye वो दिन चले गए कि बारहवीं में साइंस ली बीटेक करी एमबीए करी कोई आपको दस लाख का पैकेज दे देगा दोज दैट साइकिल लास्टेड फॉर गुड थर्टी इयर्स इट्स गॉन ना यू नीड टू स्टार्ट बींग अ स्किल्ड पर्सन लिटरली 
So on the farmer's point, no mention of removal of RTRs. This will be critical for implementation of farm laws. No, it won't be critical because the farm laws also did not say about the removal of RTRs. They said we'll create an option apart from the RTRs. And also the yeah. RTRs and the APMCs are integrated on the ENAM portal also, the uh, online agricultural market. So it's, the farm laws have nothing to do with the RTRs. Let's be very clear about it. Mm. Nothing is mentioned about... Protest chal gaya yaar. <laughs> Nothing is mentioned about tackling the private education mafia. I think this has to be dealt with, but then who deals with it? The state governments or the center? Can the center directly intervene? Again, I'm not for the center interfering in how businesses should charge their customers. There are I people think, going to pay. Yeah. Let's say that's why my solution is... Indians uh, are not... Choch- Indians are very interested in socialism. Why are we interested I won't criticize Congress for state interference for two hours and then say the BJP should come for the education mafia. No, I'm sorry. If something illegal is happening, that's a different story. But you can't say a school should lower its fees so that it becomes more accessible for me or for Kushal or for you. The answer, the future lies in a digital model, which we will discuss on a separate day. Yeah. Will the national UCC also include the stupid living relationship law? Why you throw it in the Daradia? <laughs> I think they're taking some feedback to ye to nahi hoga. <laughs> yeah, dekho bhai agar national UCC mein aaya na mai aur Nikhil itna hasne wale hai na uske upar. Yeah, I think hum log ne pura wo law padha tha uske provisions. Aisa why yaar kisi se ne pata nahi sade hue uncle ne wo likha tha wo ye ye. I never understood the need to register uh, you know living relationships at that time. 3 mahine ke zyada kiya to register kar raha hai. 3 mahine baad breakup ho gaya. उटली <laughs> They don't know I'm, how to drive. I'm sick and tired of people driving at 60 km per hour in a highway that allows 120 kmph in the right most lane. I'm sick and tired. So what you see on the highways and expressways, Anushree, it's more a consequence of the drivers being absolutely illiterate. Just uh, search for the accidents on Delhi Merit Express Highway and there are people, trucks coming in the opposite direction. I myself almost died once because of a truck coming from the wrong direction. So it's But, not the if you're talking about the condition of the roads I think that's always going to be a work in progress but if you're talking about the government being accountable for the foolishness of the drivers look the government already is being very generous gadkari i told him once in a social news event that you know you are taking the blame but you need more strong laws agar koi wrong side sa raha vehicle confiscate karo khatam mamla dusri cheez sochni nahi hai so i think the the accountability has to be improved on the driver side also we need stronger stricter laws okay what kind of a question is this will lgbtq plus be eligible for are all indians if they fit the category will be eligible for all labharthi yojanas the very interesting things they they spoke about it no but uh, let me say this hmm. so uh, welfare is in india immutable characteristic kya consider hota hai caste is immutable religion hmm. is immutable those things are immutable so lgbt is also have caste like it or not all labharthi yojanas are through immutable characteristics nothing else or economic so lgbt q identity is not considered but what is the, the inter- interesting thing uh, about this is that the bjp has not said we will not do x or y marriage or x or y thing but uh, they have just stayed silent on the lgbt issue uska matlab ye hai कि अगर लगा सम, समाज पुश कर रहा है तो हम कर देंगे सेम सेक्स मैरिज का हम कर देंगे मगर अगर समाज नहीं मान रहा है तो हम साइलेंट रहेंगे बीजेपी ने मस्त में एक बैटिंग की है कांग्रेस ने अपनी तरफ से बोल दिया है कंसल्टेशन ऑफ लार्जर सोसाइटी के बाद बीजेपी ने कुछ बोला नहीं है उन्होंने जो करना होगा वो कर देंगे ये हुआ बट एनी वेज वी विल रैप टूडे डिस्कशन अप नाउ एज ऑलवेज थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग तुषार इट वॉज ग्रेट to go through the whole thing so guys before we wrap it up because i know do ghanta ho gaya abhi main bhi bol bol ke thak gaya hu bhai aur tushar ne to mujhse zyada bola wo bechara usko khana bhi khana hoga uh 
as always go follow tushar on social media uh, his uh, x handle or twitter handle is mentioned in the in the description of the podcast and uh, before we wrap up once again if you have not already pre ordered my book uh, here's uh, the book name nastik why i'm not an atheist if you can do go on amazon and buy the book the link is in the description again whether you are listening to this in audio if you also want to support the charvak podcast do think of joining the membership program you can buy the merchandise too if you can't do anything just like subscribe leave a comment if you are an audio listener leave a rating i will see you guys next time until then namaste take care bye bye